Hi. How are we doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. Good. <laughs> dandy. Good, dandy. That's nice. I like that. It's a good one. <laughs> um, welcome out to episode seventy-five. Uh, we are we are three quarters of our way to one hundred now. Woo! Which is exciting. Um, yeah, I hope you've all been good. Does anyone want to shout anything out before we play <clears throat> some D and D? Dude, my coffee machine broke today. I'm so freaking PO'd, oh, man. Oh, dude. I had to like, if, if this, if the fucking delivery driver didn't suddenly show up like a second before I got into the call, I would be like dead right now. I would have faked, I would have said my webcam was broken and I just wouldn't have turned it off. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get one of them little pour over dealies that you just yeah. put on a cup for, yeah. Emergency. Those don't break. Yeah. That's true. That's, that's Shout out point. to that delivery driver. No. So shout out to the delivery guy. Yeah. Did you just get shout coffee? Out. Was there anything else? I bought coffee and like a donut to make it look like <laughs> I wasn't just it was a minimum coffee. order. <laughs> and then the second I got the donut, I just put it in the fridge. I was like, oh, maybe I'll have that later. <laughs> That'll be a fun surprise in the evening. And I just walked to my desk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, I hope uh, I hope that coffee fills the spot that uh, Adderall needs. It's not that great. It's not as good no. as what oh. I could have made. No, it's never going to fill the gap. Um, okay, so does anyone want to read the recap? I did it. So like this week, that. we're going to do a little different system. We're going to oh, do a yeah. vote. <laughs> everyone, get, <laughs> everyone gets the vote. We're going to do the democratic oh way of uh, find out who we reads the recap. Hey, anonymously? I'll pay you yeah, can $20 to vote for Joe. All right? I'll pay you <laughs> Yeah, I vote Joe. Every single person. Give me your PayPal, I'll pay you. You would pay. What's that? It's, it's I, would pay. I would pay. I would pay. hundred dollars. That's right. Just not to read. That's right. I fucking would. <laughs> I think I know where my vote's going. <laughs> Send me your votes in um, anonymously. Uh, okay. If I find ones from to, towards Joe, I'll I'll know what your your goal is. <laughs> I understand, and I don't blame you. <laughs> I know where my vote's going. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the smiles on the faces hurts. as I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking around, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. <laughs> Tell us how you name it. Still waiting for is. Sam's and OG's oh, vote. Oh, Sam's not going to get the memo and he's going to be the one person. <clears throat> it's true. Where all true. of you voted for me, and I'm about to get fucking taken down really <laughs> embarrassingly. Hold on. Oh, OG, I need you to vote. You can't just abstain. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. You've waited so long that I feel like at this point everyone will now know so, what you voted. <laughs> the votes have been counted. Sam's vote is not inclusionary because uh, he's he's currently AFK. We have not a unanimous vote. Oh, three votes <gasps> were unanimous, and the three votes were for me to read it. <laughs> <laughs> everyone feel free to send me your paypal <laughs> wait, wait, wait. not everyone because one person maintained their integrity to the democratic system and was not easily bribed <laughs> that is Breba. thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> who did she vote for i'm not <laughs> telling <laughs> yeah she, she doesn't have to say she no, uh but I'm she didn't the message she didn't get bribed <laughs> i don't want to get hacked <laughs> she didn't, she didn't get sort bribed of, sort of fucked up though that you would out her as the one person i know i kind of feel like because like this is how they something. like disappear the next day hey, like, yeah, she voted dude. for one of us like, for her integrity them. inspiration i'll give you inspiration. what if i voted for myself <gasps> wow everyone gets inspiration for the integrity oh, of the democratic wow. system which is something because none of us can give you inspiration yeah the that's three really apparently really get 20 evil. bucks each yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've lost a lot of money on this session. <laughs> That's funny. My face hurts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So. <laughs> let me find the recap. 
I've written it in from your perspective now, so now I've got to redo it in my mind. Okay. You can just <laughs> pretend to be one of us. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. When last we left off, you had just defeated Nithrex, the terror of the north, and hurried to catch up with the surviving Krigven and Lokovet. You found them only a couple of days away from Koldavast, the former giant stronghold and now human city beyond the Great Ice Lake. It was on the way to Kongstol where Skold intended to name himself king. With your dragon's head as your trophy, you travelled to Kaldavast to enter the Great Hunt. In the city, you expected to find Kadven, who you recently discovered was Madnevek, the brass dragon, friend to Omythis. When you arrived in Kaldavast, you journeyed to the Great Hall and deposited Nithrax's head. On a plaque, over your trophy, you named your group for the first time a unanimous name, Godsbane. You now stand together, having just given the name, seeing the person go over and start imprinting it onto the plaque, hammering it into it. You're in the Great Hall. It is the Lord's Manor, almost. Uh, it's where the Council of Caldavas sit. On their great chair, you can see a staircase that winds up, guards all along the side of it. It's a chair built for giants, but because it's vastly bigger than they are. They've got a rounded, almost semicircle-like table at the top of it, where each of them sit around the circular part. They are up there. Their guards wind down. In the Great Hall as well, you've got several other large kind of warehouse buildings, some housing that is separate and built against the walls. Um, a great carpet that almost looks tiny in comparison to the great brickwork. It, the seams of the, of the brickwork beneath you come every, like, 20 feet, as opposed to, like, every half a foot in real life. Um, you stand by where everyone is depositing their heads. Tyra and Tyrus have just kind of come away from their one, having no group name, literally just Tyra and Tyrus as their, as their group kind of proceeding. They walk by you. <laughs> Good luck. In a couple of days. We're going to win, I think. Totally, guys. <laughs> we see you have land. She just does the eye thing towards Basil. <laughs> and they both wander down, exiting the hall. Out of us is yours to explore. You've got a couple of days until the great hunt uh, competition begins. Uh, the, the kind of the <laughs> challenge, the ceremony of it. What would you like to do? Uh, what time of day is it? Um, let me think. You've just arrived. I think you arrived uh, just it was turning, I think, evening, right? Um, so probably early evening. Let's just say it's early evening. Okay. Um... I guess we need to find somewhere to stay. Right? Mm. Um, That's a really good idea. Is there a... There's like a... If we go back down, there's like a merchant's area, right? You came through the, the main hallway. Um, was like a massive... This, this is the first city you guys visited. So this, this has <laughs> occupants of up to like... A couple hundred thousand. Um, the first great hallway when you first entered was filled with housing and residential area. You pass through the kitchen uh, district, which is essentially uh, an old giant kitchen that has been converted into a series of shops, guild halls, houses, um, but mostly for the merchants, marketplaces, uh, built all into like the island in the center. Some of the pots and pans have kind of been manufactured to create almost like lords' halls and whatnot. Um, but yes, the, you've 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 gone past the kind of a general merchant area. Okay. How long till the actual like Two days. contest? Two days. Okay. I want to go to the merchant area. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. I um, just fucking found a thousand platinum. Yeah, I need stuff true. too. That's true. Um, you would pass out of the great hall. Guards will kind of, you know, step into your side, allowing you to exit. Um, are you going to be taking, like, the staircase down way, or do you want to come back down on the lift that you came up on? 
We'll take the staircase. Okay. Um, you pass down the, the actual hallway on the, the upper upper area. You see the houses here are kind of separated as opposed to down before. It was almost like built up the wall. Um, kind of like almost staircases themselves they've designed against the walls. Here, mm. you kind of see these separate homes. Some have like staircases that wind up to them. Some are built on the lower section. Some built all the way up against like the wall at the top and have these kind of winding pulley systems that bring them up. You're passing by kind of a nicer section of the city. Um, it takes a good like hour to get to the end of this hallway before the staircases are essentially a series of homes that wrap around a circular staircase that winds all the way down to the to the way you made it. Um, houses built alongside of it. Each of the giant stairs um, are about 20 feet high. So you have actual staircases that go down each one of those um, and housing just beside you. Get down there, it takes a good hour or so of just descending stairs that seemingly unend before you come all the way down back to the familiar long hallway you first entered into. Passing through there. Um, yeah. As we're going down there, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fia's going to keep an eye out for uh, Cadven or Vindar or the Kobolds. Um, just kind of keep scanning the crowd to see if she sees them. Okay. Any of them. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check. Oh, I'm really good at those. It's gonna be fine. Use your your special brand. My special my special perception. Hundred contacts. <laughs> my brand. Not twenty. Oh shit! Actually, that was right at twenty. The hell? They're you... not there. But you looked really hard. <laughs> you scan the eyes um, of everyone in the crowd. Um, you scan the faces. You scan like hairline you see like you know looking for curly hair you're looking for the short ones scanning any families that might have children with them so if they were masking as cobalts um you can't find anyone in your descent all the way down towards the kitchen area and you are certain you haven't passed anyone on the streets that that resembles it um but we'll, we'll use that perception check as a general kind of thing as you go forward uh you move all the way around um passing down the great giant stairway across the great hall with a couple of hours um, have passed before you finally make it to the kitchen district, the great massive giant doorway opening into it. And you can hear, even in the evening, as it's a city, it's still buzzing. All of the shops are still open. Um, the actual kitchen itself has a great island in the center. Um, shops are built all around it with staircases that lead onto different kind of platforms. On the actual island itself, some greater ones. Uh, you can see a winding staircase that leads over to a broken barrel over to one corner of it. Um, you can see smoke coming up chimneys from this broken barrel. Uh, the barrel is the size of kind of a great hall. It's it's massive, um, enough to keep a thousand smaller barrels in. Uh, you can see along the portion of like the stove, there's a building underneath the stoving area. You can see one up inside the kind of ovened area as well. Uh, pots and pans overturned on the ground that have kind of been carved doorways and all sorts. Uh, boot over to your right, you see a boot that's kind of been turned into an actual house as well. You've entered into the Kitchen District uh, Marketplace. There are tons of shops here. Um, you can ask around if there's anything specific. Uh, there's a few unique shops you'd come by, uh, but general ones, you'd have a marketplace where you can buy food and smaller uh, uh, objects, such as like maybe some certain cloths if you need them, some odd job items. Um, you've got a tailor, there's blacksmiths, there's fletchers, there's weaponsmiths, armorsmiths. Carpenters, cartographers, general store, leather workers, jewelers, alchemists, musical shops, cobblers, tinkers, brewers, uh, a library where you can go and buy animals if you wish, um, and, and mounts and whatnot. Uh, but you also have a few other places as well you'd, you'd learn of. There's an inn named the Broken Barrel, which is located in one of the giant barrels that's kind of been slightly crumbled in. Um, some of the more unique shops around, you'd see, uh, you'd pass by walking through the streets, um, an artwork shop. Uh, does anyone read Elvish? I can. Yes. Yep. In Elvish, um, it says, Sin Dalamar Rethelin, which means behold, adore, inspire. Um, another shop you'd pass by as well in kind of one of the quieter corners of the area, um, kind of shadowed in. Um, you see a shop called Witch Hunters. Um, there's another one, which is a fancy kind of tailor, which is called Shape of You. Um, and then underneath the stove area, um, you would see a kind of a few men, uh, 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 ladies, um, 
uh, non-binary individuals as well who are outside of this kind of this just beneath the stoving area by the brickwork um wearing kind of scantily clad clothing you can quickly determine it's a brothel of some sort mm -hmm. um but it's called under the stove and then you also find uh, uh that there's another smaller building um off to on its own um kind of built into like a, a turnover cup um over on the woodwork uh and it's called uh word on the street so there's a few unique ones otherwise if you need any shop just say what you're looking for Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, Adelward needs fucking gems of various values, and he needs ivory. Which I'm guessing is available here because mammoths exist. So he's going to go off and look for ivory, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, any, uh, by the way, anything that, uh, any components which don't have a cost associated with them, don't worry about them too much. Um, but if something says, like, if in your case it says ivory worth 300 gold, you'd have to go and spend your actual money on that one. Well, it's ivory and decorated with gems worth at least 1,500 yeah. gold. So okay. does that mean it's just like the gem cost and we could ignore the ivory part of the uh, process? Potentially, yeah. We could say you passed and bought some ivory. We could just buy the ivory uh, as a kind we of... Already, we system. already have gems of that, of that value, right? From the hoard. I don't think you need to buy it. Yeah, I don't know how many gems we have. I know a lot of my stuff as I go forward is going to cost a lot of money to cast things I want to do. So uh, I don't want to just be dipping into our mm. group True. Uh, stuff. You do have I pocket have money a now. thousand platinum as well to use. Uh -huh. So It's like 10,000 gold, right? Yeah, we, ha I, we have a lot of money mm -hmm. each. So I'd rather mm -hmm. use my own money uh, first. Gold will wander from market store to market store dude surprise me joe what's going on what's been sold okay um some of the food stalls call out to you you'd hear people kind of shout over themselves as the as it's the kind of the night time it's less so like fish um and you'd find a lot more um like confectionery goods you hear bakers kind of selling off their last products going you there you there if you'd like to buy up some of our last cream donuts we have some lovely ones it's made fresh with the milk of a mammoth uh you hear other ones calling out to you being like we have pretzels, pretzels, uh, salt from the ice lake, salt from the ice lake pretzels, made fresh today. Um, you'd see other people kind of calling out and saying like, night gear, night gear, if you're looking to go out on the night of drinks around the taverns, we have gear for you here. Um, other people selling kind of um, just obscure kind of ornaments they've been making, um, some kind of glass weaving of sorts. You'd find people that have kind of woven baskets and whatnot as well for people that are kind of come out to buy it during the evening. Um, otherwise, alcohol is kind of widespread at this point as well. People want to kind of um, have almost a night out on the city. Um, what are you looking for in particular in the marketplace? Are you just looking to kind of buy some odd jobs? Or are you kind of looking for food? If, if people offered scold food, he would buy it, then eat it immediately, mm -hmm. regardless of what it was. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so True I'll patron deduct, of the I'll deduct arts. some gold for yeah. that. <laughs> I only do, do that uh, like two two gold if you're eating a lot of food. Um, that, that'll yeah, buy you yeah, tons. Yeah. That'll buy tons. Uh, if we're following behind, watching Scold get food, mm -hmm. uh, Fia would it's say weird. to uh, uh, Basil, "Hey, if we find something good, we should we could put it in the box. We should find something like really really good. Absolutely. Me, yeah. Okay. Keep your eyes out. Okay. But yeah, we have the box, the bento yeah. box. Yeah, we got the yeah. bento box. It's just been breakfast." For like weeks. I know. Which is nice, but now I'm getting a little sick of a great breakfast. So let's find something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, you'd be able to find, as I said, all sorts of confectionery anywhere up to kind of um, any baked goods that you'd want as well. You just fill kind of, it with candy. <laughs> you can yeah. fill it with candy. Uh, other than that, like... <laughs> kind of evening food that you might find would be kind of... Um, almost like warm broths because it gets cold within the mountain. You can kind of almost get the, the mountain mm. has this kind of um, uh, a sense of like the heat is is well contained within it, um, as in it's pretty well insulated on, from the outside. But because the halls are so big, um, most of the heat is just coming from people you're passing by. So everyone's kind of wrapped up in the evening. Mm. Um, so you'd find plenty of people selling kind of hot soups, hot broths, um, kind of freshly cooked meats of the day that are kind of 
now wrapped up and turned into kind of sandwiches and whatnot. Um, you kind of get like almost like a deli area as well. Um, but it's uh, a lot of kind of hot, fresh cooked food at this point um, of the evening. In terms of meals in the marketplace, you're not really going to find like a full fledged meal. You'd be able to find knickknacks that you can kind of go around and buy if you want. You see someone kind of call out to you and say to you, uh, soups, soups. I've got various, various little bowls full. And he's kind of got them like clothed over and wrapped up almost kind of like a picnic basket. Um, he has them kind of, you can see the steam coming out slow holes in the size of them. Um, they're in almost like small cauldron bowls. Uh, He's kind of a, a graying, a half graying kind of beard, uh, black hair that you can see is like a little bit too black, clearly dyed with like almost like a leathery material, um, an oily material. Um, it kind of squints in one eye, looks across you. We've got all sorts of soups here, anywhere for carrots or onions. Um, we've got cheeses for sale as well. Uh, anywhere from the most pungent you could smell up to something a little bit more fresh and delectable. If you like any of this, we need to sell the stock before tonight. Of the soups. Though. Sure. Right. Two silver for a bowl. Do you guys want a bowl? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take a shot. I don't shark. think I can eat soup anymore. <gasps> yeah, I'm starving. Uh, and she starts walking toward the brothel. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Different kind of brothel. <laughs> <laughs> you would... Uh, four, four bowls. All right, sir. He starts pouring them out. At six bowls. Six bowls. Three for me. It takes a couple of the ones that are already freshly made and goes into a soup bowl, pours them over it, and kind of get the flames emanating, get this like nice heat from, from the stool, and lifts it over to you, <sighs> wraps over the cloth over the top, and puts the band around it. Six bowls. That'd be 12 silver, please. There you are. Thanks. Thank you very much. Is there uh, anywhere worth seeing if we're first timers? Well, so much the city. <laughs> There's a few things. Uh, depends where you want to go. The Great Library is pretty amazing. The fountain there is. Great. Yeah, the Great Library, library District. Oh. It's a, it's a nice place to go. Uh, you won't be let in if you look. Um, you kind of looks across your gear. It's a nicer section of the city. Uh -huh. The Great yeah. Fountain oh. there is lovely. Uh, if you otherwise, uh, if you've never seen the Great Hall, it's beautiful up there. There is the archway window. Halfway up the stairs, you can kind of get a great view across the lake. Most of Fjordhelm from up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? I suppose under the stove is a nice place to visit if you've been away from the city for long. He kind of points towards the brothel area. Um, otherwise... I spend most of my nights over in the uh, the dorms district, in the taverns up there. Um, you could probably go down that way. I would recommend of all of the inns there. Bloody piss is my favourite. What? Bloody piss. <laughs> the tavern. Right. Hold that. Okay. You yeah, it's that. Get that colorful name. Why? Uh, I didn't think to ask. You have to ask the owner. Really? I'm not there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just hear Fabio like Fabio's, Fabio's like doubled right back. Now. What the fuck? <laughs> is going was, on? You had your hand on the door, and then you heard Tamron <laughs> called bloody piss, and you're like, "Hang on." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I, I grew up over in that district, so to me, it was just, huh. it was just the local one. Huh. Uh, what else? I suppose you could. Uh, <clears throat> you see the kennel. Kennel? Kennel? The Kennel District has uh, some of the city's defenses in it. Uh, you probably wouldn't be able to look too close, but there all manner of beasts are locked up there. They are <laughs> trained beasts for the most part, though it's meant to be quite dangerous. As kids, some of us would sneak up as close as we can and get close enough to smell the breath. <sighs> Other than that... What are they trained beasts for? Oh, fight? defense of the city. Yes. Oh. Like what kind of beasts? Uh, there's giant wolves, um, snakes. Uh, oh. 
Uh, great white rhinos. Uh, they've got some of those walruses that they ride in water. Um, all sorts, really. We don't really get to see many of them. They don't bring them out too often, except for on training days. Uh, and usually they go out the back pass. But if you go up to the window, you can sometimes see them being trained early in the morning. A great mm. window, that is, the archway. Uh, other than that, yeah. I suppose you could... Uh... Hmm. I mean, there's the prison district down in the basement. It's not really a nice sight, but it's... Most of Cardiverse is wonderful just for the scale of things. That place is pretty dingy. You don't want to end up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll we'll uh, we'll try not to. How is it? Like, how far is it to like the fountain or the library or that? Like, it took us a while to get here. Oh, uh, most of it's in this hallway. So it take about an hour to get to each, each district. Walk down the main hallway. Okay. When you encounter us, things are sound smaller by word and when we talk about hallway we mean it's it's pretty much most of the city do you think stay open pretty like late or oh things are really close here oh okay uh, the marketplace changes over i've got about three more hours until someone else takes this spot i get it in the morning to about this time oh that's cool yeah the god of us doesn't sleep it's a stronghold after all makes sense you're looking for cheap lodging though Plenty of inns around. At least a dozen in the couple of districts you're in. So. But again, All right. I recommend bloody piss. Scott puts down an empty bowl. He's just finished one of the soups while he was talking. Good soup. There you go. He pours another full bowl up. He goes, on the house. Welcome to the city. Elward picks up some soup and the bowl just freezes. Oh, so his hands. He just oh. puts it back down, kind of sad. He looks at you, I don't... We got some cold soups if you prefer. Oh. Yeah, sure. All right. He kind of goes in, kind of gets one of them from underneath. Um, you kind of see it's like wrapped around this kind of almost like stone area uh, that keeps it kind of cool in there. He lifts out, <clears throat> puts it on the table. It's uh, it's kind of um, it's 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 like a a colder fish soup, uh, a little thicker, a little creamier, um, and and definitely colder than it is room temperature. He kind of pushes it across to you. Mix it up again. Two silver, please. <laughs> he, he pays him the silver and picks it up again. And definitely when he touches his mouth to the bowl, it freezes again. Uh. <laughs> like like a popsicle in the bowl. All right. Um, you know, this you should open up a stool. Of, it... How are you going to uh, eat? I don't know. Eating's gotten really sad for me lately. This I am is not... really depressing. I'm I sorry. I haven't is been there... having a good time. Um, you just um, use a straw. It's oh, frozen. The <laughs> Lord flips it over and the soup doesn't even come out of the bowl. You got a tongue, sir. The, um, the shopkeeper. Uh, yes? Uh, wh uh, what was your name? Oh, I'm Naja. Oh, okay. It's nice to meet you. I'm Fia. Um, is there like a, a... A doctor anywhere in town? Or like any sort of like... Uh... uh Magic school or something like that, like a yeah. There's a there's a there's a hospital. Oh, okay. Where would that be located? It's over in the dorms district. Over in the dorms district. Okay, great. Thank you very much. The medics there, um, they're uh, they'd be able to potentially help your friend out. Um, I don't, a, I don't believe it. There's an anti curse <laughs> store here. Uh, oh, is there? Where's the, that? What's the that witch called? hunters? Oh, the witch, that makes sense. They deal with that kind of thing, but um, but the hospital is a, it's a, it's a temple, so they'll be able to help out. Oh, uh, oh, okay. A temple to, to who? Uh, what's that sleepy god's name? To, to Samra? Samra. That's the one. Yeah. Huh. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for your service today. Appreciate it. If there's anything else you're looking for, just let me know. Thanks. A couple other people uh, like queuing behind you now. <clears throat> Move along. Right, now that we uh, know about this place, where do you want to go? Um. I see that Fabia's already going somewhere. Yeah. She's going to be you busy. Can, you, can, you can hear far off in the background her being like, 
I'm a rabbit who's missing some fur. Who wants some of this? <laughs> <laughs> no, over at the over at the brothel, when you kind of arrive, you yeah. see a couple of them like look to you, and then um, some kind of whisper someone else, and they go inside. And stepping out of it, you'd see um, a, a, a kind of a, a, a headman who steps out. He's wearing kind of nice finery. He's almost like a cloaked kind of suit-like uh, outfit that kind of drapes down one side of him. Kind of like a, almost like a half toga suit. He's still wearing like trousers underneath. Um, hair that's kind of brushed to the side. Eyes glowing a soft gold. Um, handsome, um, clean shaven, kind of his hair brushed around. He steps out. He smiles to you and says, Greetings and welcome to Under the Stove. Are you here to sell goods or... Ooh. Give body. Give body? Is that the way? Is that? It's, it's a, I think that's correct. It's a delicate way of saying um, participate in the delightables of our fine establishment. Yeah, I want. Yes, I want to touch people and have people also touch me. Very well. Do you nice. have a Great. preference on anything? <laughs> Echoing scold is going to be like, surprise me. <laughs> uh, quantity? Oh my goodness. How have I not gone to one of these places before? Surprise me. This is great. Fabian. Uh, I can surprise <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, how much gold are you willing to spend? Oh, that's fair. This does cost money. Uh, it does. Wait, what are the prices like? Wait, it depends. hold on. Bus business, Fabia, back on. Okay, what are we looking at here? You see um, a kind of a woman who looks almost similar, um, but like in the way they've dressed. But the hair almost brushed the opposite way with like a dark black hair and eyes slightly red. You can see small horns that are kind of underneath the, uh, the hair, but the skin almost like a slightly paler than the ASMR. Um, steps out and says, Husband, you're needed inside. One moment. You've got a customer. What are you looking for, then? How much are you looking to spend? We also offer transactions if you trade in goods. Things that are a little unique, <laughs> I'd say. Things that you might have acquired, things that you might wish to let go. Interesting. I don't know. Down to spend a few gold? Like, what does that get me? A few? Three to five gold? Yeah. Three to five gold will get you a couple of hours with a couple of folks. Spend a little bit more. It could turn into more than a couple hours, or it could turn into more people. You spend more than that, perhaps the quantity reduces, but the quality improves. <laughs> spend more, please. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not the... Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go with a couple people for a couple hours and see how it goes. <clears throat> Very well, and you should surprise you. Yeah. Very well. Uh, that'd be five gold, please. So give five gold. Takes it away and just kind of pots it into a pocket. If you'd come with me. He takes you into uh, the back room. You'd kind of, you'd hear the sounds of the delightful evening that everyone's having um, as you enter in there. Uh, you can see the establishment looks nicer as it kind of goes up. Um, eventually, you're led into a room um, where a couple of people come in. Um, one man, one woman. Um, <laughs> Sorry. One of them is a uh, uh, a Goliath woman, and the other one um, is a human man. And uh, the door closes, and we cut to the rest of the party. Right. Uh, Wait, so, can I really, <laughs> really quick? Yeah, yeah. Really like the arch chat scroll at the same time as the shit happening. <laughs> um, while we're walking in, I would want to, especially after hearing that some people trade in goods. Mm -hmm. So, so just above board, I wanted to come in here because I think 
this is a loose lip sort of place and she might hear some interesting right. shit in here. That's uh -huh. why. Yeah, that's the only reason. Yeah, that's definitely why. But also now that she knows that people trade shit in to come here, um, would she have on the way to the fade to black, would she have seen anywhere that seemed like it went off into like a storage sort of area? Yeah, you, okay, roll uh, an investigation check. Okay. Come on, Fabia, A game. Come on. Focus. Investigation, right? Yep. 15. You would have seen there's plenty of rooms um, that could lead off somewhere. And because you're kind of left into your own devices, you could probably narrow it down. There's probably out of four rooms that you have the potential to find somewhere like that. But you also have the chance of running into uh, maybe a darker room where people are looking for some privacy. So right, okay. it's kind of a, a, a one in four chance, essentially. Okay. Okay, you can now cut to everybody else. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you in a sec. Uh, okay, uh, everyone else, though, having Fabio just left off to go towards the brothel, where else are you guys? What are you looking to do? Um, I would love to find something sentimental to send Affy. <laughs> Aww. This is like the duality here. <laughs> Okay. Fabia going to a brothel. <laughs> and Basil being like, what can I get my love? The twist is when Fabi goes into the brothel, Affy's in there. No, I can't get it. No! No, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You. It's a joke. It's Fabia, a joke. Like, on, walks on. into a room. It's his the NPC. He can do what he likes. Fabi turns around. <laughs> Fabi slowly backs out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. go. No. Um, yeah, uh, what, what kind of sentimental thing are you looking to get at? Something a bit more kind of ornamental and uh, relevant to Caldevas or something more jewelry-esque? Or... Hmm. Maybe somewhere in between the two. I got her I got her earrings before, long ago. Back in the day, Maybe... that was so long ago. That was so long ago. Maybe a necklace? Okay. But nothing too spendy, more like sentimental. Okay. Oh my god, this is the cheapest group. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I would. I just don't think she. I think she would appreciate something She's sentimental not flashy. more than something. We have flashy. like a hundred thousand yeah. gold. We are, we are we only willing to spend money. Money is not an issue. Money is not an issue. Fucking brothel. You don't understand. Back in the day, Scold used to be the one that got all. Yeah. Pissed. Yeah, now he's got a spa robe <laughs> and he yeah, just is throwing just... money all over. Exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I could spend My virtues have always whatever. been the same. He doesn't care about money and he happily gives it away because it's fucking trivial. That's all right, spa boy. Approach, all right. Yeah. You don't know about the sparring character, right? So... <laughs> no, we do. We have a robe. It's in the back of holding. <laughs> well, only Adelwar doesn't know about the spa. <laughs> That's true, I think, yeah. Hey, Edward, I think did you only know I wasn't present dur during that situation. Yeah. Um, or you would never hear the end of it. Okay, a necklace. Yeah, you'd be able to find like a small shop, uh, a more of a local shop, where someone's been kind of making them themselves. Um, and a, and a, a kind of a little bit more locally designed as opposed to jewels that have just been kind of turned onto like a gold watch. Or a gold, gold necklace or something. Um, it's a kind of a small shop with... Um, uh, You'd see a young lady in there with kind of braided hair going down both her sides of her, uh, her body. She's wearing almost fur furs that kind of remind you of the southern towns you went to in Fjordhelm. Um, across the walls, you'd find all different kind of uh, behind small like um, glass cases that don't look very kind of, they look like almost like they've been um, reused a bunch of times. Um, you'd see various bits of jewelry that they've crafted. And then kind of a small desk in front of them. It's kind of a dark, dingy store lit by candles, which are mostly burnt out. Um, and I, like a slight rounded table at the front where all of these kind of various gadgets, like a clawed hand um, on the end of like a bracelet, you'd find all various bracelets and kind of charms in there. Um, this young lady kind of leans forward, her kind of gingery braided hair um, braiding down her face. She kind of looks at you. Ah, hello too. Welcome to my store. Hi. Thank you. You're not from um, here. What gave it away? I can tell a uh, people who are not from this land by mostly the clothing and the smell a little bit. 
Oh god, did I smell? I'm sorry. No, we... you smell cleaner. Oh, that's a bit surprising. I've been through a lot in the past <laughs> few months. Um, <clears throat> this is a lovely store. Uh, I'm you. Basil. Um, uh, I'm Shanda. Shanda. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm looking for something for my girlfriend. Ah, okay. I, it's the first time I've actually ever called her that out loud. Um, and I want it to be like something that makes her think of me. So okay. maybe like, I don't know, something that matches my eyes. Because they're like purple, so maybe something purple. Have a charm with your know. blood in it? A bracelet? Oh, is that... Is that romantic? I don't... It can be. You give your blood as a gift of body. Okay. Um, I'm open to ideas. Like, uh, I'm open to ideas. I've, I'm not good at this, so you, there is you feel free to... There's various ways to, to do romantic gestures in kind of us. Uh, okay. Many of the time, we come from a warrior culture, our people. So sometimes it might be a broken tooth. Sometimes it might be blood or spit. Um, sometimes it might just be a jewel that you have won off a fight or won in something dangerous. Perhaps you'd like to break down one of your weapons and turn it into a bit of an ornament that way. Hair, perhaps? Mm. Uh, <laughs> he's like looking really <laughs> nervous. Um, I mean, these are all really cool ideas. Uh, do you have like a stock I can look at? Just in case I see something that really catches my eye. I have all sorts first. of other things, yes. Take okay, my table. yeah. If you want okay. privacy, I will go in the back. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Is that normal? To ask for privacy while looking at... Aren't you afraid someone might steal something? <laughs> she reaches down below. I would never do and that. And brings out a whole meat cleaver. Clear. And just slams it into the wooden part of the table. <laughs> no, I'm not scared. I, that's awesome. Okay. I would never do that, just to You'd be clear. See, I just wanna... It has a bit of pegged blood on it as well. <laughs> Ew, oh just, my god. And then just wipes it a little bit. <laughs> and puts it down. Do you have to use that thing often? No, 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 no. A couple of times a month. He's going to look at the jewelry. <laughs> that being said, she brings out kind of a small um, necklace that has like a long portion of it. And it has this like a bone. Going down the middle, goes, a finger, perhaps. Oh, my goodness. Oh, um, yeah. Is anyone in here with me, by the way? Yeah, well, totally. more than welcome. Okay, okay cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come with. So I don't. So she's kind of like a, she's from a small town. Um, fighting's not really her thing. I don't. I don't know if these kind of things would appeal to her. I can appreciate the value and like how that's a tradition here, definitely. Um, but maybe something just more simple and 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 less sentimental to do with my bodily okay. substances, and what more if, with um, like what if you did something that was like. Like you had a matching one, like you gave her one and then you had one. And then like when she wore it, she could think of you, but then you would have like, right. And you could think of oh, her I have something for that. You're so good at this. I have, I have some of the original chain from back when the giants used to own this. You could have a portion of the chain cut <gasps> and then the other part. So when it attaches together, it is like a chain. <gasps> oh, how? How big is the chain? It is a carved portion. So there's a chain oh. made from a chain. Oh. Chainception. <laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty cool. That could be nice. Wrapped in bone? Some... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, I, I might have to think on it a little bit longer. Um, okay. but I like the idea. We're going to be in town for a few days, so okay. let me, let me brainstorm a little bit, get my creative juices flowing and, yes. uh, not, not literally. I don't want to use any of my juices. None of your body. I understand. Okay. You're, yes. Good. You're, you're kind of weird. Uh, Would you not thank kiss you? her? Uh, no, I, we've kissed. Oh, they've kissed. And you have shared the body of fluid. What is the difference? I guess that's true. 
I don't. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'm being too close-minded. Mm. <laughs> She's nodding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are, bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you dumb boy. Um. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll think about it. If I if I were to draw something, could you possibly make something that looked like it? I could probably. Oh, okay. Well, cool. I'm going to brainstorm and sketch some things up. I still recommend the a blood amulet. I will think about that one definitely long and hard. Very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you'll see us in maybe like a day or so. I see it you was then. nice to meet you. Good to see you. Thank you. It's going to like kind of scurry out and look and feel like... You cannot give her a blood amulet. I feel like that would freak her out. I feel like she think, would think like someone sent it as a ransom, like yeah. holding her hostage. I feel like one, that's not really a thing Affy would love. And two, also, oh. what if someone steals it and then they can do like weird shit with your blood? Don't give away your blood. Please don't okay. just maybe no, don't give I away. mean, I just don't yeah. think she would like that. So yeah, I yeah. The thing is, right, if you get her something that she can wear. Mm -hmm. She's going to want to wear it all the time, right? Because she really yes. loves you. Oh. And then people are going to ask all the time, like, oh, my gosh, what a pretty necklace or what a pretty bracelet. Where did you get right. that? And then she's going to have to be, it's my boyfriend's blood in an amulet or it's yeah, a finger. Do you know what I mean? Not the nicest ring. Yeah. It. Yeah. So it should be. Yeah. Maybe like, people are going to ask about it, right? Like, what a nice. Right. So, yeah. You're not blood or a finger. Maybe this isn't the right shop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the chain thing was cool, though. Uh, I like that. Yeah. You know, I, just, I don't know if either of us have sentimental like attachments to a chain or to giants to giants. I mean, that would be such a good gift for Scold or something like if he had a lady in his life or a man or a, a whoever, yeah. that would be a great gift. But I think that I, I think I understand why Skull had those weird ideas about like mating rituals and like fighting. Yeah, Afi. like sparring. I think I understand it now like a lot better. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, we could definitely keep. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of shops. We keep looking. We'll keep an eye out. It's no rush. I mean, she's she doesn't even know I'm looking for something for her. So there's literally no rush. It's still a really good idea. Um, it's still a good idea. Thanks. I kind of want to go to a tailor, maybe. I'll go with you. Well, like, I want to go to the library. And then that guy was like, you guys gonna, should dress nicer to go to the library. Oh, oh, should we get all dressed up? That'd be really fun. I've never gotten, like, dressed up before. We should. We should get everyone to dress up, right? That'd be fun. Up. Are you guys it's still in the store or are you outside the store? We're outside. We're outside. <laughs> we are 100% getting dressed up. Scout would finish the suit and be like, why don't you just cast magic so you look fancy? I can, I can do that like it's right the, now. The, I can do this right now. now. I could, I could, I could we always cast, cast magic. Cast this guy's <laughs> self. Looks like she has a dress and drops it right away. Like, I mean, that's not the same. Wouldn't it be fun to like scold? Experience no. it. Like, what if you had. Scold, you like would a, look so cool in this suit. No. In like a waistcoat or like yeah. a, a, a I, I, jaunty chapeau. I don't, want, I don't want to buy clothes. I don't want... First of all, I think you would look really nice in a suit. But also, <laughs> I do feel like we should take you to like the temple. Uh, and maybe... He's like licking the soup out of the bowl like a popsicle. <laughs> like Timmy. <laughs> t t is, is Timmy there too? Timmy's at the market. Okay. Like, we should do, you, this is, you got to be able to eat. Like, we, I mean, we like, should... I kind of feel like I'm eating. It's just not as, like, good anymore. Like, it's You can't really, live like, like that, kind of, it's, it, like, it's been kind of a bummer lately, honestly. I. What if, are you okay? What like, if, mentally? There's I other... mean, I'm like, I don't know. I spent, like, 10 years, it felt like, in a big crystal floating I just feel like you should get checked out. really, like, it, I, I felt like I know a lot of those kobolds by name. Like, they were my friends, and then most of them... Oh, I know, think they, they were friendly. I barely remember it any of it as soon as I got back out of the vision. But, like... Honestly, yeah. I've just been going through a big whole identity thing. It's, it's weird. It seems like... You're definitely different. 
I mean, aside from being like real icy, like, like he's been don't you want to like have someone check you out? Yeah, like, I mean, I asked uh, Timothy and he said he had no idea what was going on. And honestly, I feel like that's just going to be what I get again if I go to another hospital or anything. You know what I mean? It's just I don't feel like you really want to try. I just don't want to go to the witch hunters. I feel like they're going to try to kill well, no, me. No, so let's I mean? go to the... Okay. But let's go to the temple. Like, okay. I don't know how much you know... Wait, I can't even remember how much we told you about Tyrus and Tyra. Looks around to make sure they're not yeah, just they fucking wanted, behind they them. They to drink me. So, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, right, when we met them, he had a... Looks around again. <clears throat> He definitely had a sexually transmitted something going on. And Timmy cured it, but he kept saying that he was like, cursed by a witch. He was not cursed by a witch. He yeah. just had an ST. It's a whole, like, don't, <laughs> I would not go to the witch hunter. <laughs> no, I'm not, well, oh shit. That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> This but what if what episode. are you trying to say <laughs> wait that's not what i was gonna say but now i'm really worried what if that is it no anyway what i was gonna say is like i don't feel like witch hunters in fjord home and their curses like <laughs> removal is gonna be like they think everything's a curse like what if we should just go to the temple we should just take you to the temple it will only uh, take a little bit they could look at you and if they can't help you they're like clerics and shit they're like They'll just tell you they can't help you. They're not gonna All like right, bullshit. But I don't, if they try to drink me or do anything, no, I don't think they're gonna. Me, I'm Timmy gonna didn't try him. to drink you. It's like the same deal. Yeah. We're not gonna right. let anyone drink uh, you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna go to the uh, see the giant wolves and stuff. Oh shit, giant wolves are cool. Wait, can yeah, we? I boring. want to see so the giant you wolves too. Do that. Hold on, <laughs> wait, man. I think you're fine, you can, honestly. You can stay you icy if you want. I just feel like we should have somebody check you out. Also, I definitely have to go to the library and also a courier. Uh, maybe you just need to learn to control your powers. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if it's you just, just like... think about being warm, will you thaw? Uh, I. What if I just melt though? Like that's the thing that I keep coming back to is like, what if I think about getting warm and then I just turn to a big pile of water and then die? That's why I said we should get a bucket and you didn't like that idea. Yeah, but that sounds awful and I'd rather be dead than in a bucket, okay? It'd be a nice bucket. We wouldn't get you like a shitty bucket. <laughs> Jimmy forged you a really nice bucket. I don't want that. I don't <laughs> want to be in bucket. a bucket. <laughs> I don't think you understand the thing I'm trying to say is that I don't want to be. No, in the I don't want you to be in a bucket either. I really don't. I just want you to be okay. And I'm just worried that maybe you're not. And I feel like people who deal with healing would be able to tell if you're okay or not. But also, we could see yeah. giant wolves. I'm we not going to. We're going to be here multiple days. I'll swing right. by the doctor at some point and they'll try to cut me up and kill me. And... They're not going to cut you up and kill you. I don't know. We'll have Timmy will go with us. He'll like. Tell them what he already did. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be okay. All right. But the wolves, Takes the giant wolves. Long <laughs> lick of his big soup popsicle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is Timothy doing right now? Uh, Timmy's looking for nothing in particular, just something expensive, something at least five hundred gold worth. Okay. That's he can he can etch something into so i'm not sure what places around if there's like an mm. antique shop or just a valuables store yeah i'm sure you'd be able to find a, a valuable store you could also go into um off the top of my head i mean the, the tailor technically will have stuff up to there but you could also go into the art workshop um <laughs> which is which could technically be uh pushed up to that um but there'd be like antique shops as well if you want to go into one Kind of yeah, in a nice an antique shop. I want, I want it to be something handheld, if okay. possible, not a painting. Yep, that, no, that, makes, sense. that makes sense. Um, okay, yeah, you'd find um, uh, you'd find a small kind of shop, um, which is kind of embedded <clears throat> into the side of the <clears throat> island, almost like where one of the drawers comes out. You see the stairs come out, and you, you almost have to kind of step up and then go downstairs to get into the shop. Um, and all along the walls of it, you'd find various kind of Almost on plinths, you'd find various kind of vases, and um, you'd find almost like old runic stones from when the, the giants used to live here. Um, you'd find kind of um, what would be tiny tools, like a toothpick has been kind of 
kept still and encased, um, now massive like a tour double-ended spear. You'd find small kind of rocks that have kind of been shaped and carved very specifically. Um, ones turn into skulls, other ones kind of turned into like almost like almost like uh, etched in stones, which kind of give like spirals of like whirlpools or like visionary kind of um, uh, almost like clouded dreams in a design where like they're kind of coming up like uh, bubbly and kind of have all these kind of stitched cavemen drawings into them and and, and like old um, ornamental from the giant age almost. Um, okay. You find also kind of like um, probably like cups and mugs and all sorts of like old antiques that have kind of been sold and passed through here. Um, some like a horn that is um, clearly like built of like old, very old bone um, and then old walls and stuff like that as well. Uh, the antique that owner who sat there behind their, uh, their small little kind of desk at the corner has got like a long monocle. Um, which they're using to kind of study and look at a rounded, <clears throat> almost like horseshoe. They're a gnome. Um, the head a little bit large for their body, and they kind of sit there with like a blanket over them, a little bit shivering slightly. I lower it down. Um, you can see like against their dark skin, you can kind of almost see like a white imprint from where they always put this up to their eye. <clears throat> yes? Hi. Um, I'm looking for something not... A specific object, mainly price-wise, I'm looking for something yes. at least 500 golds worth, handheld if possible. All right. What kind of device do you want? Well, it's not the device that matters. Um, it does need. I need the ability to sort of etch into it or draw on it without it fading. I've got a compass from the time a when the first. Might be... Yes, from the time the first mm. humans came here. That might be perfect. Um, do you have ones with not too many designs, even just a plain one, at least 500 oh, gold yes, worth? Oh, yes, this one is, uh, to, the, to the unexplained eye, it's rather simplistic and uh, somewhat ugly. Um, it's built into stone, and it uses an old method of water. It's distilled. An alcoholic beverage, I would say, somewhere in. Okay, that could work. I'll, I'll take it. I don't even have to look at anything else. That's exactly what I need. 500 gold pieces. Yeah. Um, it reaches down. You see, it's kind of, it's got like a soft glass. It's almost like, um, almost like painted glass on the top, which has a slight sight where you can kind of see through the numbers kind of etched onto it. But that's the, the only design. The rest of it is like almost like a granite stone that's been like smoothed down. Um, you can see a slight liquid slosh around inside of it with like a knee of the spins. On the side. Okay, while he's checking out this item, giving him the gold, uh, he's going to look around and realize nobody's here with him besides Aaron, <laughs> and he has no idea where anybody went, so he's actually going to use sending on Basil just for a quick... Hey, I'm at a shop. Where is everyone? That's going to, like, put his head in his ear for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting a message. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Uh, Timothy's asking where we are. What, what should I say? Looks at sign. Calder Bass. Uh, uh, <laughs> his eyes narrow. <laughs> if you're, uh, you still outside the same shop. Probably. Um, you would, yeah. you would see you're over in kind of the the um the the pot section of of this okay. marketplace. The pot section. In the pot, the pot section. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, okay, that's 25 geez. words, including everything you've said. So, all <laughs> in the pot section, I counted. He's going to keep in talking, but obviously section. doesn't realize it gets through to you. Which is pretty Coming obvious. Up with us, you... We're going to go see giant wolves. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try to remember where I saw pots. Yeah, you'd, it'd be pretty obvious when you come out because the pots uh, are literally like 40 feet like in kind of diameter. Um, the handle is like long and have like almost like a chimney built onto the end. You can see all the kind of various pots and pans. I'd fallen down. They've turned into like a, a, a series of shops. Um, so okay. you kind of see what they mean over towards the corner of the uh, the market district. Yeah. So as soon as I buy this, I'm going to head over there. Okay. And honestly, try to find Basil to ask him a question. I'm going to approach him when I get there. Hey, okay. Basil. Um, hey. Are you good at etching or drawing? Yeah. You still have that rapier, that drawing one? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm going to need you to draw something on oh? this compass I just bought. Sure. Um, what do you What do you need? 
Do I know the symbol for the lower planes? Yeah, uh, yeah. I would say okay. so. Okay, I would sort of guide Basil when when we get a chance. Uh, first, I would explain that I need him to draw the lower plane symbol. I would definitely you... practice it on something else a few times <laughs> first. I like how much <laughs> mileage we've gotten out of this enchantment. Right? I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> great. It's been really good. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, we don't have to do it now. When we get a chance, it'll probably take a while. It's stone, so yeah, you don't yeah. have to, like, chip into it. Okay. But when I we get somewhere, should definitely we practice, do too. I don't want to mess up. So what's our plan now? Are we... What are we doing here? We're going to go um, look at giant wolves in a kennel. And then after that, maybe a library. But we have to dress nice to go there. Oh, the library? And... Don't Timmy! Worry. Yeah. We can just go. You, in. We have magic, right? We could just. No, it's not the same. You guys so are terrible. Fun. We don't need to. If Fabia was here, she nice. would get it. <laughs> well, I'm buying Fabia something to dress up in. She's gonna like it. Do you think she's having fun? I hope she's having fun. She's that. She kind of has. Is Fabia? Like her deal is that she's she just is thing. having fun all the time. I think I heard of that bloody urine. No, oh, that's, that's not. Name? That's a tavern. <laughs> no, bloody piss. Oh. That's a tavern in the dorms. Ooh. She might. I don't know if you should go to a under the stove. <laughs> <laughs> but we should. But we should go to the dorm district. Timmy, there's a temple of the Samra there. Like, sh w what if they could help Adelbert out with the like, all his food turn into ice? He thinks they're I mean, gonna chop him up and dissect him. From what I can him. tell, it's not a curse or an enchantment. It's just who. He is now, but maybe they know something I don't. This is my life now. No, but you can't just accept. This is what I am. Look how sad bucket. he is. We got to help him. <laughs> a bunch of water in a bucket as soon no. as we leave. No. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> we got to do something. Scold wants to see giant wolves now, though. So. <laughs> okay. We're giant wolving it. Wolving it. Giant wolving it. That made it. about me. Do you, want, do you know what, Scold? I, you want to dress up in some stupid outfit and go to the library? Go to the library. No, and I'm going to do that, but also I want to see giant wolves and, and I, I would like I'll to see... I'll see you when I see you. Hey, I would uh, like to see your excitement. starts walking off again, Alward's going to cast a Rory's Telepathic Bond on the group. Oh. Nice. So we don't have to do sending shenanigans mm -hmm. anymore. I'm What's glad you did that before. Missing out. Uh, it is uh, pretty much infinite distance. It lasts an hour, so if we're splitting mm. up... Ooh. Okay. It's a ritual, but it's uh, I have it prepared. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, that wasn't on Fabia, right? Because I don't want to hear those thoughts. Well, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the people I can see. Oh my god, so, that would be so. Funny. I put it on the people that are here. If we're gonna be like splitting up and doing stuff. Might as well oh my it. god. Yeah. <laughs> turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, oh. Fabia. Yeah. There's this moment where you kind of, uh, you're like, we cut back to you kind of like, and the glass kind of wiping themselves, their head and kind of drinking back some wine. The human um, kind of stands to the side and just kind of dabs himself down with the cloth. That was exceptional. You know, I I do good work. You guys also do good work. The glass from the glass and just keeps drinking. For real, though, you got to head to Safna. There is so much cash there. If you want to start this, like, mm. if you want to start this whole, like, floral business, you got to go there, get the cash money, and then you're set. You're set for life. I'm telling you. Sounds wonderful. I yeah. Think I have to visit this sometime. You should. It's all going to, look, it's all going to melt, and then you're going to have to do some crazy swimming to get it. So, you know, the time is now. That's all I'm saying. Now. Well, sweetie, this has been wonderful, but uh, I know, I know. I know. All right, all right. It's <laughs> over. Uh, Fucking shoot me. <laughs> it's. I mean, if you have more gold, come on back soon, surely. <clears throat> Sorry. Hold on, really quick. She's gonna draw like a really shitty picture uh -huh. of um, Silverock, mm -hmm. and be like, "Have you seen anybody that looks like this?" <laughs> Oh, I don't think so. And the, the glass room looks bangers. Exactly like this. 
Mm, with all this alcohol, though, my memory is all over the place. I need to buy myself a clear tonic. Ah. Might help me jog my memory. <laughs> oh my god. I'll toss them a gold. Come on. Takes it. Saw a strange looking dragonborn pass this way. Go over towards the um, information broker's area. It's really? Not too long away from here, word on the street. I thought it was weird that they had wings. All right. Thank you both very much. Of course. She'll, she'll back out. Um, you kind of exit back out into the hallway. Um, all the series of doors that lead off and kind of this, this brothel was huge, by the way. It's like, um, a good, like hundred to 200 rooms. There's it's massive. It's kind of the, the brothel of the city. Um, so yeah, you'd end up back in the hallway. Are you heading back out or are you? I want to like, if there's, if there's nobody there to like usher me out, I think mm -hmm. she would walk out slow and try to like, <laughs> just like listen in on conversations. I know, I know what a lot of it is going to be. I'm just like, in case there's anything like specific <laughs> that she picks up on. Joe, what would she hear? Um, roll a perception check. <laughs> yeah. Could you describe in detail? <laughs> roll a perception check. Just so check. we don't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The 26. 26. Um, you hear a lot of like awkward conversation uh, come from different rooms like um, uh, someone saying like, just, just call me the bunny. Call me the bunny, please, please. And then you hear come from, as you go like down a room, you're like listening, trying to kind of convert, getting across a lot of, past all of the moans and, and, and tribulations of people. And then you would hear an interesting conversation. You would hear He had us <laughs> Wait here, see if we can see anything A dragon Yep, a dragon Turns out there might be one in the city No We're searching for it <clears throat> No idea what to look out for, though. I'm making shape change. A dragon? There's no way there's a dragon in the city. We'd seen it. No, oh, it could look like any of us. But we were sent out here, you know, stationed a few of us, paid a pretty tidy sum to look around for it, see if we hear anything. Huh? What if we hear anything? Would you be willing to spend that go elsewhere? I have a think about it. I've got to go now, though. You hear the footsteps coming towards the door. Okay, I will. I will kind of like walk out fairly quickly, and then sort of stand off to the side and try and like wait for whoever that was to come out, mm -hmm. and see if I can if, see if I can shadow them. Uh, you'd see as the door opens. Um, you'd see a. Um, half dwarf a little bit taller than what timothy would be a little less stocky um clearly got the kind of same facial structure he kind of steps out <sighs> starts buttoning up his top you see this kind of full hairy chest that he's kind of unlocking underneath this top he throws on like a wall over his shoulders looks around side to side or strapping his belt up a little harsher and you see this kind of hand axe weaving down it's like almost like a it almost like uh, kind of curls at the end with like the blades all across it like jagged teeth <clears throat> it's around and he walks out. Uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. 29th. <clears throat> he walks out of the, the brothel, uh, looks around, takes a deep breath, and then continues walking um, along towards the exit from the kitchen district. Um, you'd be tailing him all the way. Meanwhile, everyone else. You are, um, you've just finished up your shopping. Uh, where are you heading to now? As all of you as a group now, right? Uh, yeah. Fia will skip the kennel. Um, but we can meet up later. 
Okay. She's still scanning for Cadven, Vindar, the kobolds. Okay. Um. So you're using your previous perception check. You don't see any. Uh, Mitch is the best. If, uh... If she doesn't see anything, um... I would like to... Kind of duck out of sight okay. ish. Not like, you know, whatever, into like a creepy corner or whatever, but just kind of like out of the main kind of area. Mm -hmm. um, and she'd have tack. Mm -hmm. And she'd send a message to uh, audio only mm -hmm. uh, to Vindar. Okay. Um, in case anyone is watching. And. Uh, She'd say, hey, Vindar, it's Fia. I'm in Caldervast, and I'm looking for some enchantments. And you know a lot about enchantments, so I was just wondering if there was anywhere you think I should go. Thanks. You'd hear the audio back. There's a place called the Footlocker. A nice inn. Might be able to find someone who knows more about enchantments there. I hear the wine's good. Red. Else um, Skull's the one that wanted to go to the kennel so bad I'm sort of waiting for him to say something I mean <laughs> if, I'll fucking Let's go then Adelwards <laughs> just That's walking around issue. Well he doesn't really want to go to the doctors very much right now <laughs> Skull's going regardless You cost yeah. telepathy dude He doesn't know if he needs to be here or not He's just gonna go Okay Um one of the hallways towards the back, past the staircase that leads up. Uh, it takes a good, like, hour to walk that way. You can kind of come across, like, this extra portion of, like, a barracks. Um, you'd see, like, they've locked off a door area, um, which seems to lead down towards the kennel and kind of the barracks areas. Um, a guard kind of wearing his, like, almost, like, uh, oval kind of helmet that kind of comes down. You see just the ice. It's a very kind of Viking-like helmet. Um, wool. It's kind of shield on his back. Which, you know, uh, where are you heading to? Uh, kennels? Oh, the kennel district. Are you... Observing? Yeah. Very well. You go up that hallway there, you can have a peer into the dens. That way, you don't get in the way of anyone. That is where All tourists right. and whatnot will come through. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, there's like a side um, kind of series of stairs that lead off up to, up to like a um, an extra balcony and leads around a series of halls. Um, see this portion of the kind of guard area is blocked. You walk up the stairs, heading that way. Um, who, who's who gone with Skull, by the way? I'm I with Skull. Me. Okay. Fear you're not, right? No, before that, I no. But before the hour is up, she would have let them know that she was going to go to the, the Foot Locker. Okay. Or to meet there. Um, you'd walk up the staircase heading um, along a couple of hallways and you kind of have like signposts that say like to the kennel viewing area. And you'd pass on by to this kind of a house built into the wall. The door's open. Someone stands at the doorway and says, Come to see the, the kennels. But we... Uh, yeah. One silver per person, please. If you want food or, or viewing food or you want to release food into the kennels, it'd be an extra six silver per person. You can feed the creatures? You can eat? We... <laughs> uh, no, it's feeding the, the, the creatures in the kennels. Um, it, it gives them a treat. Uh, if you're here to see the wolves. I would like to do that, yes. Please. I can I can just make us food. You don't have to Shh. pay them. 
You keep using our money for things I could get us. It's Please. my money. <laughs> Good luck, Jet. <laughs> he narrows his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me spend it. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, be careful around the edge. Try not to drop yourselves in. Uh, we don't take any responsibility for anyone that uh, receives a uh, fatality here. Um, uh, no children should be brought anywhere close to the sides of the balconies. And uh, please do not throw things in there. You will be taken down to the dungeons. All right. <clears throat> and uh, holds out his hand to kind of take the money from each of you and puts it away in like a little like cashier's area. All right, enjoy. <clears throat> you pass on through into a building that is kind of um, a series of kind of tables and stuff set up at the moment. Uh, some food being served out. But you would see like it, it kind of almost like a long um, flat room that has all these kind of large archways that lead all the way along for a good probably quarter mile going around. Um, each one of them kind of leads out into various balconies. Um, the first through the archway you kind of come across a, a balcony. It's about 20 foot long, um, 30 feet wide. Um, a fence that kind of goes up to about shoulder height. They've got one fence area which is built for like halflings um, that's much shorter and gnomes. Um, but like it goes through a small, you have to go through a smaller door to go through that bit as well. Um, but the actual general bit here, you can immediately get the smell of uh, manure, um, kind of fresh or, and slightly rotten meat as well. Um, and just kind of general, just like bile and kind of breath. Um, you'd step in. A great kind of barn door in the front of the first of the balcony rooms. There's a couple of balconies that overlook this area. And a massive area of just kind of uh, almost like straw that's been put out and hay for like bed bedding. Um, you see kind of uh, a giant kind of tree that's like woven into the wall and slightly hanging with branches that seem to be almost a little bit um, artificial. Um, a great kind of almost like pond drinking area. And you see rolling around playing together. You are good, like probably about 100 feet up from them. You see these giant wolves, one just fully white fur, the other one patches of black and kind of gray on its face. And you see them biting, kind of rolling around together. They are, uh, they are huge. They are about 30 feet long, uh, massive kind of wolves just biting and kind of annoying each other. And then one just leans back and goes, and you feel it kind of reverberating and rippling in the room and then they pet the kind of little uh, lets out like a little kind of um drool that hits the ground you see splashes of water splash down from its tongue as it goes and it goes and starts lapping up the water and it flicks up portions of the water flick up so high you can kind of almost get hit by them almost like being a, a kind of a theme park with it um two giant wolves in these this section here you see the carcass of a mammoth that's already been kind of like torn and eaten um one of them kind of goes over and starts gnawing at one of the bones um you would see a portion for you, Bowser. You've been given this like small little kind of um, uh, like token, and you see like a little kind of wooden section where you can drop it in. Gonna drop it in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear rustling from below, and then you hear someone saying like, oh, right. and then a the lever comes down, and you see sloshing just off the side. You see this kind of like a big portion of just meat, like a hind of meat, just goes. It seems to be like the size of a cow, but it's just like one leg. Um, raw, kind of open. And you see both of them kind of look towards it and then rush out and start barking at each other. And then one kind of bites and they grab both sides and pulling at each other. And then it tears in two. And they both take it. The kind of the larger white one getting the bigger portion. Um, wags its tail, kind of moves over to the side and starts tearing at the meat. The other one taking the small bit just kind of gnaws at it. The smaller one kind of finishes it quicker. And then starts like slowly coming in to try and take the other one and goes kind of scaring him off and he keeps going back um you see the two of them kind of playful uh you recognize that there's a, there's a few more actual kind of balconies that look over different animals um is there anyone trying to sell us like merchandise is this just like a flat <laughs> it's basically theme park you would uh, i came to the kettles that way. i got was this t-shirt <laughs> it feels yeah. like it should be but you'd see like a lot of the personnel who are around are military and they don't leave their eyes don't leave any of you the entire time you can kind of see it's almost like a portion to fund the military more so than it is like a a, a reserve um uh, at one point if you were like waiting there you'd see a side door come open and just now kind of recognizing the scale because you're so high up before looking down you see a single person kind of come out 
and then a couple others. And you'd see them kind of coming over with um, uh, like a huge kind of almost like cauldron. Uh, these two Goliaths holding it and they look tiny in comparison. One of the wolves comes over, leans over and then rolls in its side. And the first guy just walks up and starts like, scratching it. He has this kind of almost like giant comb thing. It's just <laughs> scratching up and you can just see it kind of wagging its tail and its foot just goes <laughs> slamming against the ground. And the others start pouring in the cauldron, the water like slowly filling in their bowl and they move out and they come in like a few times just filling more water in uh but the wolves seem kind of kind of careful with them and tempered with them the first one um the other wolf kind of comes over to him you kind of for a moment you're kind of confused you just see it kind of lick up him and then knocks him off his feet and he kind of pets up and kind of leans down to scratch it but he's mm -hmm. so small against it and uh, you just see the kind of the massive scale um one of the guards looks across to you first time seeing them huh They're magnificent yeah. I, uh, um, yeah, they're, they're formidable. They pull some of our, our carriages and flights, our chariots. Oh, wow. That one down there is uh, 67, and that one is 23, the younger one. Oh, wow. How long do they live? Oh. Up, to, up to a couple hundred years. Oh, shit. Uh, these, what uh, is, are they just called giant wolves? What? No, 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 no. These are dire winter wolves. Dire Very rare. Wolves. Different to a normal dire wolf. Okay. Uh, of a much kind of more giant kin. This is what uh, used to be kept here when we were uh, humans first arrived. But not many of them left anymore. Wow, they're beautiful. Amazing. Phenomenal beasts. Can, can I... Um... Do you think I could, like, talk to them? Would, well, uh... We tried to avoid shouting down at them because it could uh, startle oh. them if you're just going to be saying what... No, nothing like that. I, I can actually um, cast a spell that allows me to understand animals and, and speak to them. Oh! Um, I'm just so curious about them. I They're beautiful. I, I would love to actually talk to them, if that's okay. Oh, I, I don't want to impose. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, I'd have to ask the supervisors. Uh, you, you might have to go down there, but... Um, okay. It, it, we, you were warned about fatalities, right? Uh, they, they, they... It looked very cuddly from up here, especially to the trainers, but those trainers have been imprinted with them for, for, for years. Right. Uh, this is going to be like Jurassic Park, Chris Pratt. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's fine. I understand. All right, um, I'll, I'll ask my supervisor. He kind of passes back, and then you see a kind of a, a captain of the guard, Sephanga. Talk to them. You can talk to them. We haven't had a druid come by these parts in a long time. Oh. Uh, I'm not a druid. Uh, you're not a druid? All right. Uh, I'm, well, a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bard. I just, I, I know a few things. And I really love animals a lot, so. All right. Um, bring you down to the trainer. And we'll, we'll see what, if you're capable of it. There is a, just as a warning, you should listen to everything the trainer says. Got it. Listen to everything the trainer says. Okay. Okay. He's gonna look back at uh, Scold and Adelward. Do you, do you guys want to come? I mean, I'm thinking that maybe we come in case one of them tries to rip you to shreds. I'm gonna be fine. A fatality. <laughs> I'll I'll be okay. I, I'll listen to the train. I'll and... I'll come down just to be safe. Okay. And Adelward will stand up. He just wants Aww. to see him up close. He, he, he is going <laughs> to be, just to be so safe. Also, just cast see invisibility as usual. Oh my God. Anything weird, just in case. <laughs> you don't see anything concerning. Oh, okay, funny. cool. Um, yeah, I'll come down. It's not my first time seeing one. I'll come with you. Okay, cool. You would kind of be led down uh, a side room kind of a, a barrack staircase that kind of leads you all the way down it seems to go on for a long time like a good couple hundred steps and you finally make it down there um you see the glass just finally finishing up um lifting out the cauldrons <sighs> they sit down for a breather kind of getting a drink for themselves the trainer just comes out and he's wiping himself off with a cloth you see this um 
from this side, you can see that he is a, um, a full orc. Um, he's got a, a great tusks out of his mouth, his hair kind of pulled back and slightly matted. Um, you can see he's kind of, he's, he's almost like um, kind of a blackish green skin color tone to him. Um, and he's washing his skin, just getting all the slobber off of him. <sighs> Thanks. Who's this? Uh, Basil, hi. Uh, and my companions. Um, he gestures to the rest of them if they would like to introduce themselves. Um, <clears throat> I I just spoke to your uh, whoever's in charge and asked if I could actually come speak to the uh, the wolves. I can speak to animals. I'm sorry. If this is imposing, I'm sorry. It's just, no, it's not the first time we have someone who's... If this is some sort of joke. They're not gentle beasts. No, no, no. God, no. No joke. I, I love animals so much, I would never do anything like that. This is not a joke. Because I don't uh, want to introduce you into their diet. It's a carefully constructed diet, and if I have to throw you to them... Right. I don't want them to eat me either, so we're on the same page there, which is good. Um, the hair I, I got, does not cure <laughs> oldness. You going bald? I didn't is think that it. What this is about. It, it, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Basil's like, no. Um, I didn't even know that is that like a myth around here or something. It is. Oh, I didn't know of any such thing. I actually just just wanted a chance to speak to one. That's just, I don't know. Well, persuasion like check. Once in a lifetime experience. Okay. I'm on. I believe. Persuasion. Please. 18? So I'll let you in. You listen to everything I say to you. Absolutely. If I tell you to back off, you back off. Yes. I tell you to stand still, no matter how scary it gets, you stand still. I will be a rock. Looks up to Skull. Yo. Did you st- you always say that? <laughs> <laughs> yo. Just, it, like, winces when he says, yo. <laughs> This is Edelward's weirdest we, day ever. The cool Honestly. peep thing. <laughs> <laughs> now my friends are saying yo. Oh my God. You don't mind being washed, you? We have to put uh, a, we, Kinda do. We gotta change your scent. Why? Ogrim likes the flavor of Krigvin. Oh, I like the flavor of Ogrim. Oh God. Um, I'm gonna pretend but, you didn't um, say that. Oh. <laughs> he just—he's he, a jokester. He's got a wicked, dark sense of humor. We're gonna put a different scent on you. Do you want Scott that? looks confused. <laughs> like <laughs> he, he's definitely eaten this creature <laughs> before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. uh I'll stay here, I guess. All right. Next to you, Adderwood. I'm not getting washed. I'm not sure if he likes the flavor of local vet. You are... I'm going to squash you. You're different. You might be okay. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can get rid of my scent, no problem. Let's see you do just in case. Yeah, he casts prestidigitation on himself and just gets rid of any smell. Okay. Just prestidigitate me, hello? No, you have to do it yourself or get washed, man. (laughs) (laughs) That is so fucking funny. Just a no. (laughs) No. (laughs) You could do it for free. No. (laughs) Am I okay? Does my smell? You should be fine. Okay. Right. Don't be afraid. Okay. They can smell it. They can smell panic. They get excited oh. by it. Okay. Got it. Calm as a cucumber. Hey, Joe. Yep. As we enter this area, I just want to make sure that you're aware, just in case something goes horribly wrong, <clears throat> Alward is going to prepare to cast Vortex Warp on Basil. Okay. All right. 
with me. Yes. Steps back through the door. And takes these kind of slow steps in. You now see, like, how high up the balcony was. You see just how small you are in comparison as you see the walls in the distance kind of now one of them's just sat wagging his tail kind of watching the other one eat and then when the other one gets up to go and drink water kind of rushes in pulls a little bit and it comes back <laughs> you see the the black furred and gray one kind of looks across sees the trainer come back in he slowly walks up with you and he walks over to one of the larger bones of the mammoth puts his foot in and snaps it he hands out to you. It kind of feels like a massive club in your hand. <laughs> Walk up with that. Put it on the ground. Okay. Step back a few feet. Okay. I'll do just that as carefully as possible. Trying to stay calm. See, it starts coming towards you. Looks down. Smells it. Roll an animal handling check with charisma. So. Uh, okay, so how would I do that? So have you got uh, proficiency in animal handling? Yes. Uh, so your your proficiency bonus right now is what, four? Uh, my animal handling one is plus seven. Plus seven? Uh, what's your wisdom? Yeah. Mm, my wisdom is negative one. Negative one. So uh, that means you would usually, if, it, if and your charisma is a plus five? Yeah. So you have a plus 13, I believe? So okay. go ahead and roll a d20 plus 13. Okay, perfect. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, good thing I prepped that spell. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> You've done that dead. one. You just see it bare its fangs. You see the trigger. Stay. Absolutely still. Do not show fear. <laughs> it kind of leans over you. Just feel the dribble going across you. What do you want to do? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stay entirely still, exactly as the trainer is telling me to do. I'm just going to do exactly what he's telling me to do. Um, I don't even want to risk speaking with animals and trying to calm it down. If, although that might make it realize like oh shit if it lunges at basil i'm going to cast the spell so what do you want to do do you want to talk to it or do you want to stand still it's up to you um i'll stand still and i will try to speak with the animals and say i am no threat i can leave <sighs> say the word and i will leave what a persuasion check. Come on. You got this. <laughs> can I use Vardic inspiration that I was given today for being no. an oh, that, that's a straight inspiration. Yeah, you can roll it. Yep, you can re -roll Okay. It. Perfect. Oh, Come on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, fuck. 25. To everyone else, it sounds like Basil is letting out kind of like a guttural, like. The trainer so looks you confused. <laughs> He's like, "What are you doing?" I didn't say to, and you just hear the overwhelming booming voice. You speak our tongue. Yes. You smell like you've been in fights. I have many. I'm not looking for one right now at all. I again, if you, if you would like for me to leave, I can leave. We don't talk to many outsiders. Thank you for speaking with me then. Why have you come to talk to us? Um, honestly, I just think you guys are such magnificent creatures. You hear the other one. And then silence. 
And you see it almost brings its footsteps so quietly. In a way that's unnatural where you feel like it's prowling around you. And you feel like it's kind of turned its head, growling slightly. It's the other one, the younger one. No. This one is not food. Thank you. And then you hear it kind of lower its tone. You realize you were being kind of proud around. And it kind of steps over closer. The other one, the pure white one, looks down to you. So, you speak our language. Yes. Curious. Are you special in any way? Uh, I mean, my mom might tell you one thing, but um, I I know some magic, and uh, I've traveled far across lands. But other than that, no, I'm just I'm just me, Basil. That's my name. I am Hoglan. This is Manning. You are welcome in our nest. In our lair. It's getting teary-eyed. <laughs> See, it look back to Adderwald until it's head. Those are my pack mates. Um, is Vasil mm. just over there barking to us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's like a fit. deep growl, <laughs> yeah. You're talking shit about us. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna say that. That's those are my pack mates. They they also mean no harm, and I I would greatly appreciate if you didn't harm them in return. Hmm. Very well. Basil. Uh huh. You see, as one kind of leans up. Nuzzles against you slightly and knocks you. The nose kind of knocks you slightly. Nuzzles you, uwu. <laughs> <laughs> and then... You have magic coursing through you. Oh, oh, that. I guess, yeah. Yes. We can smell um, it. What does it smell like? We don't describe smells. But it is unique. Interesting. It breathes on you slightly, and you're going to get its breath, and you're going to inhale it. You feel a little different for a moment, and you start to kind of almost take in, like, the smells, the pattern of this creature. You start to realize the magic kind of tingling in your hands. And then you realize you could mimic this. Yes! That's what I wanted! <laughs> when you polymorph, you can turn into a dire winter wolf. Oh, oh hell yes! yes. yes. Amazing. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> you see, there's they right, kind cool. of both look towards you. You may stay as long as you like. But in the mornings, we guard running. It looks to you and turns and Manning looks to you and goes, we do not get to communicate with our master. Looks to the trainer. Let him know we love him. Absolutely. Is there anything else you would like to communicate to anyone else? Or I'd be so happy to pass along any messages. More of that. And it looks towards the manor. Lots more of that. Perfect. I can definitely <laughs> tell him. And then looks towards the door. No. Crickvin. More of that. Another of. Okay. Yep. Yes. We don't get to eat any I... of that. Right. I will definitely tell him more, Crickvin. So he just kind of licks its lips. You're going to feel a bit the slobber hit you. And just turns and then walks and kind of lies down and kind of rolls around. Um, 
going on its back, kind of scratching its back slightly. Leaving you. The train looks at you and goes, That was unexpected. He walks up to you and kind of just pats you on the back. Good job. Thank you for trusting me. Uh, I was a little scary I for a second. Thought you um, were dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his <laughs> was a spell. Yeah, I was totally gonna like teleport you out of there, though. Don't worry, I'm a. I you had my bad. back. Thanks, well, I had your back, but I did think you were gonna die. I'm totally, one hundred percent. Means a lot. Um, he, he's gonna gesture at the trainer. What's your name? Oh, I'm Kurik. So they wanted me to tell you that they love you very much. Um, <laughs> and oh. um, they want more mammoth and. Um... Tell them they're not <laughs> getting any more mammoth because their diet is restricted. <laughs> they don't need them getting fat. Can... I don't know if I want to say that to them. They get I mammoth once them. a month. No, no, no. Say it's from me. He kind of stares and looks across at them. Okay. No more mammoth this month. I'll translate and be like, just like, I'll translate and be like, he says the mammoth is, is a special occasion kind of thing. And he loves you guys so much, but he doesn't want it to ruin. Um, he doesn't want so much being put in you that you can't perform, you know, and, and function regularly just seeing both kind of it's for your they don't like that thing. <laughs> they don't have to know what's good for them as much as i yeah do. all right true um, he starts kind of folding his arms what hmm. well we should get out of here um they said they go for runs in the mornings yes do I've you think i could do you think i could come back um, I can do this thing. What? Actual Hold fire on. run. Actual <laughs> fire run. Is what happened over there? Do it. Do I it. think I can turn into one of them are now. You, are you like quitting the group? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> I'm running with wolves now. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Tell Effie I'll miss her, but now I'm a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this reminds me of twilight this is part no. where they become a wolf and then they don't come back for a while anyways. oh no okay anyways um he kind of he like rubs his eyebrows you can become them <laughs> polymorph i don't know if you've ever heard of this spell not too familiar um, with magic okay it would just be really it would be really uh useful and, and cool experience to be able to kind of understand how they work and I, I could learn a lot from it and they did tell me that they go on rounds in mornings i don't know if that was like an invite i don't but... <laughs> oh, so you're inviting yourself to their run now <laughs> they're like we didn't that wasn't we didn't think <laughs> you you'd come sit with us <laughs> uh, I, I come back and see us in the morning at right. dawn okay we'll see what you can do Okay, he's gonna like clasp his hands and be like, "Thank you so much, thank you. I promise, I won't, I won't get in the way. Thank you." Okay. And he's gonna walk. He just back. looks completely confused <laughs> to him. <laughs> these like super rare creatures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he heads out, kind of opening the door for you, and you'd be able to pass back through. Thanks, guys. Um, also, yeah. Yeah. they said they wanted more. Craig meant to eat, but I omit that scold because you're my friend. I mean, they eat us and we eat them. So I should have said it. Maybe I'll say it tomorrow. If, they, they, know, they, hunt, they hunt us, but when we kill one, it's a great celebration. We have a feast. Oh, what is it? Did it taste good? No, not really. <laughs> That's not much of a celebration. <laughs> yes, well, you know, you wouldn't get it. Right. <laughs> like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get it. <laughs> Fabia, you have been following for a while, mm. going through the crowds of people, kind of stalking this one um, half the He stops a couple of times at the marketplace to buy a bit of alcohol, some food. In the main hallway, you get to a portion that's kind of under the staircase, the shadows over it, lit up by torches in the wall. He walks up to a door and taps on it twice. 
Roll a perception check to see if you hear him, what he says. Uh, can it be with hearing? Yeah. Yeah, it is. that's what it is with. Yeah, you're hearing what he says. Oh, I'll lucky that. Okay. A 19. You hear him mutter. A brass plate. No cutlery. And then the door opens, and he steps on in, and they close it behind him. <clears throat> okay. What do you want to do? Um, is this like a, a nondescript like a house. place? Yeah, yeah. It's just a nondescript kind of residential home. Built against, like, they're all kind of, um, all of the houses are kind of combined and, uh, and built adjacent to each other, all across the stairs and everything. This is just one of the houses underneath the stairs. Okay, so it goes down. Uh, so when I say or... it says, imagine a massive staircase, like your tiny, like, like a borrower. Oh, and I see. And it's one of the right. homes kind of built, almost like a district of homes that kind of built against it. Um, and it's just one of the one of the random homes there. It just seems to be built. Is there like there. a, is there like a side of the house? No, or are the all the houses, houses are, all, like, yeah, together. they're all stacked together, yeah. So it seems okay. there's a couple of windows on the front, but they're, they're blacked out and the curtains are over them. Um, the door, and then it seems to kind of go in a little bit. Most of the houses here are almost okay. shoebox and shoebox and shit. Um, what time of day is it? Uh, probably late evening now. You guys are probably about ten p.m. Okay, I think Fabio would try to because she doesn't even know where we're staying, so she would try to start start trying to find people. Okay, probably specifically look for Scold because he's easy to spot. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, you should be. You might come across a couple other Krigven who are not nothing to do with it, you know. And, hey. Yeah. What? No. And then eventually. <laughs> you like wait, and, and then like you're like, fur. no, you're not my friend. <laughs> yeah. uh, eventually, you'd see them kind of coming out of the. Uh... Well, actually, are you guys leaving the the kennels? Or are you yeah, still looking around there? Unless someone yeah, else we'll has something they want to mm. do. Okay. Well, there was other beasts too, right? Not just the wolves. Yeah, there was other oh, beasts. Oh yeah, true. We could peruse. We could do it. We could do a talking session with every single beast. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to. What anymore. else is there? Let's figure out which ones we want to see and which ones we can skip. Like when you really go to the zoo. No, yeah. we don't yeah, have to yeah, see yeah. these. We should see these. <laughs> um, did you want to look at the other ones, or are you gonna come out? It's up to you. Um, Just so I know where Fabio could find you if, if she finds you at all. Oh yeah, let's look at the other ones. Yeah, we're here. Do it. What yeah. else they got? Okay. Um, you'd pass them by uh, going to the next area. Um, you'd see there, there, it looks to be like uh, a lot of very unnatural trees, um, almost junglish in its design, kind of vines wrapping around. Roll perception checks to see all of you. Okay. Not 20. Oh, yeah. I redeemed my nat one. <laughs> um, Basil, as you're both looking there, Adelwood, you can't see it. There doesn't look to be anything in here. You make out a slight movement, Basil, and then your eyes kind of trace it. You make out from one end of the kennel all the way to the other, going across several of the trees, wrapping round. Seems to be kind of a, a familiar pattern that almost looks like branches and, and twigs kind of wrapped over and, and some foliage. But then you realize it's almost repeated a pattern. And you follow it along until you come just submerged in the water nearby. There's a massive snake's head. The eyes are closed as it sleeps. Its head just half submerged in the water. It's probably about 40 feet long um, and kind of oh, wrapped wow. around several of the trees and pretty yeah. thick as well. It's um, a pretty massive snake. You see one of its kind of center masses is kind of bloated as it's digesting something. Do you guys see it? I see an empty room. No, 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 no. Sort of a bummer, honestly. We paid a lot of money for these no. tickets. <laughs> He's going to like put a hand on your back and be like, look right there. You could see its head. I don't know why I'm whispering. We're really far away, right? Yeah, we're um, really far away. I just in case, though, I don't know. I just in case he's he's sleeping. And I'm going to try to point it out best I can. 
Um, yeah, with, with, with Basil's help, you'd be able to finally see it. You see the slight glimmer of the head just in the water as it kind of, you see almost like the reflection gives it away more so than anything else. Huh. So you want to talk to that thing too? You want to go down no, there? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Become friends with all the animals here. I mean, in an ideal world, yeah, I, I would love to do that, but uh, no, I, I'm okay. I, I think I'm... something from here. What's that? You'd probably yell something at it from here if you really wanted to. I don't want to disturb it or upset. What would I yell? <laughs> Wake I don't up. Know. What are snakes? I don't know what snakes like. I don't either. I don't really know anything about snakes, I don't think. Probably just don't yell at it, honestly. Yeah, I don't want to provoke We're gonna it. Get thrown out. I, I'm still on like a huge adrenaline high from the wolf thing, so I, I'm good. Can you turn into this too? I'm gonna squint at it like I'm analyzing it. <laughs> this would be considered a monstrosity, so you wouldn't be able to pull him off into it. I'll say. I don't. Uh, I don't think so. Not this one, Timothy. But maybe someday. That. Um... As you see, it's tail left. And from out the mud, you see a second head. Oh. You see it wrap around and coil. One of the guards nearby yeah. looks you. That's the first time it's moved in about four days. You're lucky. Whoa. Doesn't move a lot when it's eating. Oh, he's going to look around at his friends like, guys, I'm going to be like, this is what are so you, cool. What do you feed it? Uh, the trainers feed it all sorts, really. We, they uh, they pass on any kind of cattle they can. Uh, it comes from far from the east, so it's died a little odd. They bring a lot of creatures, a lot of money spent on this thing. It's still pretty wild. I've had it for years, but can't seem to really kind of tame it. It's gone through about four trainers. That's how I've been here, at least. It's an Urubulus. Wow. Right. Kind of want Basil to try to talk to it now. Yeah, yeah Basil, get down there. <laughs> oh, well, that's we just don't try him into the Let's pen, please. <laughs> um, how close are like? How loud would I have to be hypothetically? I mean, it is like a fully enclosed chamber, so you kind of your voice would be echoing oh. if you shout. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Well, what should I say? Oh, you're the one that's gonna like talking to you just befriended things. like a pack of wolves yeah do what you did um <clears throat> okay i <laughs> do speak with animals again <laughs> and i'm going to say i hope you're sleeping well screaming this as loud as I hope you're sleeping well <laughs> yeah is it, is it, it, comes up, it comes up like <laughs> <laughs> you shout down to it the guy goes hey, 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 none of that what are you doing I was, I was sorry you don't see a reaction and you recognize that it doesn't speak kind of snake or whatever you're trying to attune to because it is not oh. technically a beast oh right well, that's embarrassing. So it's now it's just mad. What does it say? <laughs> um, <laughs> it said that you guys are all really cool and awesome. Can I, I'm going to fucking insight. <laughs> he rolls an eight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes this. Yeah. That's great. Oh <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. Uh, what? I don't. I mean, you are. No, sorry. You are really cool and awesome. But that was I, like the one good thing that's happened. Yeah. Oh, really fuck. Weak. <laughs> no, so I'm sorry. Oh. He didn't say anything back. I don't think he understood me. I think I was trying the wrong snake lish. I, I think I'm done in this. You don't. For today. You can tell, I'm like, gonna... a soft light, Basil, every now and then. It's okay. Um, just. He was but good. The wolves did say that they've never seen someone so epic looking. Insight check. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll a deception check again in case you roll okay. <laughs> right, here we go. I just rolled a natural one. 16. 
He would have had to roll it out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, See, I think I've had enough of the zoo. That kind of really bummed me out. That last one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> oh man! For okay. a place to sleep or something. I don't know. Maybe go to the doctor tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe find a bucket. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. He feels happy and doesn't know why. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God! So are you guys leaving, or are you looking around more? Um, are there more animals? There are more animals. Yeah, Alward is gonna start leaving. I think is he, he is going with to us leave this point. Uh, well, Fabi, be outside, right? Yeah, Fabi is kind of. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll say you can ask around Fabi and eventually kind of catch up to where they are. Um, okay. it would take you a little while before it. you have to knock off a, a, a couple of silver, uh, one silver piece even, um, to enter into this, uh, place. As you're kind of pass on okay. to the next area, Adelwood would go <laughs> be going past you, Fabio, on the way in. Oh, what's up? Uh, Basil learned how to talk to wolves or something, then a snake talked shit to me or some <laughs> crap. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Going for a bucket, I think. Um, oh, all right. Don't pay for this. <laughs> don't pay for this after she. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's... <laughs> oh my god. As he walks up. I, do you? I feel like you shouldn't be alone. This feels. No, I'm this good. Feels deep. I'm fine. This is, whatever. I'm there's a sinister go. energy here. Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just whatever. Cool PT. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, and then he just like walks me. into the distance. Oh. Uh, Bobby's like, uh, oh. <laughs> the <laughs> fucking saddle word, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, the next pen area, you'd see the creatures uh, are not quite as big um they're, they're large um they're a series of rhinos which um not like the cryo rhino you saw before they're kind of more like woolly ones um but they have a series of like instead of just one horn at the front they've got like a horns all the way down their back like almost like a stegosaurus of these kind of spiked horns that almost go all the way down and you see their tail as opposed to a um as opposed to just kind of a fluffy tail you see it kind of spikes at the end almost like a manticore um, ridge kind of tail and it kind of swings back and forth uh, they kind of they dip their heads down they're just gnawing at various vegetation there's probably a good like 30 of them here they all have their own kind of like stable sections as well these ones where their beds are enclosed um, one of the guards would just say to you uh, <clears throat> please don't drop anything over the uh, over the edge these ones are delicate animals I'm trying to keep them out of touch from anything alien If you keep moving back, um, I can just keep shouting. Unless you want to stop and shout more at the animal. No, we'll no, keep no, it. no. I'm not going to shout at any more animals. <laughs> After my hey, blunder with Adelwood. What are you doing down there? <laughs> um, oh. You come across a couple of other uh, sections where, like, the animals are not in right now. You can kind of see they're, they're probably nocturnal. Um, but one of the final ones you'd see is... Um, as you step in the balconies, uh, encased in like a um, kind of like a metallic mesh, almost like iron bars wrapped around it, and uh, you would see gnawing at various bones at the bottom are these giant vultures, um, and you can see you're almost in like an aviary of all these different nests that are wrapped all the way up, going all the way up the kennel area. Um, they're all like a series of the same kennels, but designed differently. Uh, this one has a series of places where you can kind of fly and get a bit more motion. Um, the, the roof of it is kind of more open, so it kind of brings a lot more fresh air in. And you can see various of them are kind of nested and sleeping. Some of them are still just gnawing it. It's in scraps at the bottom. Um, these kind of giant vultures almost had like a broader back. Uh, you would see they have four wings instead of two. Um, they have two sets of almost like a dragonfly, the way they fly. Um, and so when you kind of see them come up, the wings almost hover, and they kind of fly up to their nests. Their beaks are like curled. And at the end, you kind of almost get like an almost like crocodile like clamp on them. And they have long, thin, winding eyes all the way to the back of the head, almost like an owl. Um, Skull, you've probably seen these before in just kind of various patrols, just various, uh, like, drifting over your area. Uh, these are kind uh -huh. of scouts mounts um, here in uh, Caldevas. This is what they kind of ride, uh, these vulture yeah. riders. 
Other than that, you wouldn't really see anything more. It's not really designed to be a zoo. It's, uh, it, they would have a section where you can kind of see down into like the stables and various horses, but most of them are asleep. Um, uh, you see the horses here are kind of, again, more woolen, so they have almost kind of like, um, kind of like coats that kind of drift off of them. But that's pretty much all the animals you'd see here. Cool. All right. I, I really messed up with Adelward, huh? He looks at Timothy. I mean, sometimes it's better just to say it didn't work first, or what? Do you, what do you? What do you want to do? He's just walking around feeling sorry for himself the whole time. I know. Oh, well, that's really Look, sad. I'm sorry you were stupid and ate a frozen orb and it changed. <laughs> like, what do you want from me? All right, get over it. I don't think you should say that to him ever. I think he's um, not doing so hot. <laughs> Wait, that's funny. No, I'm sorry, it's not a joke. <laughs> Damn, I wish oh, I could have heard that over a telepathic bond still. I really <laughs> wish that was still active. <laughs> I think I think we should get him like a, a pick me up gift, you know? Uh, not like a bucket. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sorry. This is <laughs> fucked up. I'm not trying to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very right. I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> Fabio would have followed Adelward instead. <laughs> I like I like the idea that she's just like trying to talk and distract him and occasionally he's going, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, so you've just left, have you? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where are you heading to now? I fear. guess the uh, you've gone to the footlock. The, the dorm district. I did. Okay. Well, I would have asked or around right. for it. Yeah. Um, the dorm and district in its design. I would have made a stop on the way too, just so I don't have to do it later. Okay. I would have stopped at a at a courier on the way. Okay. And uh, I would have sent out uh, three packets of paper. <laughs> Uh, describing the dragon fight in excruciatingly great detail. Uh, one to her dad. One to her, well, Mr. Chambers, I guess, slash her mom in Pennytown. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third one to Penwig. Okay. And Dunwell. Okay. And then she would have asked around for the footlocker and headed there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, knock off a, uh, uh, for the distances. Yeah, they're weird, right? Probably Come like far. three gold because it is it's okay. a long distance. Um, the dorms district, you can see it's almost unrecognizable until you kind of go in and you realize um, it used to be a series of just various like bunk beds. Um, these kind of stone designer <laughs> bunk beds and now they've built all into them so you kind of get the, the homes are underneath a bunk bed area or in it and wrapped around each of the poles kind of going up you kind of get these staircases that have like a banister going around homes on top of each one uh, these are like a huge residential area the footlocker seems to be um, an inn at the first set of bunk beds these bunk beds also like several hundred feet long they're, they're built for like giants um, at the end of one where like there was a chest footlocker that's been kind of reconverted into a full inn. So you have kind of a staircase going up to the top and then trap doors that almost lead down and kind of bring into this uh, into this inn. Um, so you would have headed that direction and um, and entered down into the footlocker. You'd see this kind of great hall uh, full of side rooms that kind of slip off. Um, let me put on more appropriate music for a tavern. And you would see it's kind of built it's very um clinical in its design it's very kind of like every few feet there's a table with chairs around it but there's a lot of private kind of nooks and crannies where you can kind of go through curtains and go into side rooms where you can get your own private booths um the bar is at the far end you just walk past all the booths and kind of areas to the side um various chairs and and tables set up rooms kind of lead off down into the bottom section but the, the top half of the footlocker is a uh is um, essentially just a tavern. Let's put this one on. Over at the end of... The, the plane Gwent? 
Yeah, you're playing Gwent. Yeah, people are saying <laughs> I'm playing Gwent. Fuck yeah. Um, ah, okay. This is a fun one. Uh, behind the bar, kind of putting away um, some of the, the various, uh, kind of cleaning various um, utensils and any um, any drinking mugs and whatnot, tankards. It's you. Quite a stocky looking individual. At a glance, it looks almost like a smaller Krigven, maybe a younger Krigven. <clears throat> kind of got the stockiness of a Krigven and almost a fur pattern. But their fur is actually like a brown um, with only small patches of white. Almost like a grizzly bear's fur. Their face is shaped quite stocky like a Krigven's. But their ears are long and floppy that kind of go down to the shoulders. Their face a little bit like their, their mouth comes out a little bit and they have kind of whiskers that almost come out as well. And almost like a nuzzle face. Um, you can pretty much get a see, it looks somewhere between like uh, a Largo and a Krigven. Um, oh shit. You see behind nice. the counter. We see our creature. They kind of place it down and uh, she looks across towards you. Uh, we're mostly full of rooms. Oh, okay. Uh, that's okay. Um, I was hoping to just get a drink for now. I think my friends are going to meet me here, so right. I'm going to get maybe a table and, um, you know, maybe some red wine. Okay. You sure about red wine? We don't really serve that at this establishment. Yeah, I am. I, I just, yeah. Because we just do ale. Oh. Hmm. You don't have any? Any red wine at all? Why do you think we'd have red wine? It was just a hunch. A friend recommended this place to me. Booth six. She turns and starts uh, grabbing another mug and then kind of starts cleaning it out, ignoring you. Okay. I'll head over to... The booth? Booth six. The curtains are kind of pulled and closed. You see it's off to one section in the corner. Um, these rooms kind of almost have like a slight hallway and then they go to your little private booth area. You go through the curtain. What do I... As I sort of look around... a series of kind of curtains along the way so you can go to different private booths. Yeah. How That's crowded is the inn in general? You hear a lot of talking coming from various booths and whatnot, but it's kind of muffled behind all of the curtains and whatnot. They're almost like blackout curtains. They're so thick. As I uh, head back there, is there anyone? Does it look like anyone's following me? Does it look like anyone's taking notice? Or a perception check. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nine. You're not sure? No, it looks great. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, uh, it looks like I'm fine. So. Okay. So you're going to push into the curtain? Sure. Um, as you step through, there's like a slight hallway leads through. You can kind of see a table lower down. A couple of steps go down. It's almost like a smaller uh, uh, oval room almost um, with a table in the middle. Um, a couple of indiv individuals are kind of sat around it. You see kind of familiar curly hair. Um, you see horns coming through a cloak that's pulled up. Uh, as you do, stepping out in front of you, you see the four-foot kobold kind of muscular stand in front of you pushes his hand over his axe and looks up and goes tilts his head and steps aside and holds the axe ready the other kobolds kind of sat around the room all holding their weapons sharpening weapons and whatnot and you see at the table Cadvin and Vinda we're gonna go ahead and take a break there <laughs> so you can go to Lou get drinks and whatnot and we'll be back in five Ooh. Okay. All right. amazing okay all right see you guys in a little bit Also, chat, if you uh, are interested in drawing any fan art, um, Dodger has been putting together this awesome reel here that you're seeing playing right now. Um, she updated it with some more fan art, so some of the stuff that came in last week, um, she's kindly asked to take over from that. So uh, if you draw any fan art, you can expect to see it up on the opening screens. Only uh, kind of post it. If you, if you don't want to see it up on there, just let us know. Just post a little comment that says, like, nah, I just want to post this. 
without seeing it up on the screen. That's all good. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we throw it up in the opening screens and the intermission screen. All right, I'm going to get a drink, so be right back. All right, I'll be unmuting in a second, everyone. Just give it a chance for everyone to come back. start to bring things up all right i'll start to unmute hello 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 okay hey. oh there you go okay so welcome back we know you before we get to the cavern scene where is everyone else going right now are they heading towards the area Elwar's wandering. No. <laughs> he's kind of just like, he's probably walking towards, where Where was the uh, temple? That was in the dorms district, yeah. right? Yeah. And he's probably wandering sort of in that direction subconsciously. 
Okay. You'd see this kind of large um, kind of structure in the, in the distance that kind of leads up a staircase that goes onto like where would be the lower bed and a kind of a large building. Um, it kind of houses a similar symbol to the to one that uh, uh, Timothy has um, on his on his prayer symbol. And it's this uh, great kind of stonework building. Um, you see various people kind of being lifted up there in, in kind of uh, especially around the Great Hunt, you'd see various people kind of coming out with bandages and kind of wounds. Some people just kind of taking some breath of fresh air to get out of the hospital for a moment, but you'd see the temple. What about everyone else? <clears throat> I'm going to be making my way to the temple too because I have things to do there. Well, thing to do there. Okay. So Aaron comes with. And uh, what about Ooh, Fuck it. What, to the temple? If, um... <clears throat> well, I mean, what are we doing? Are we going to the tavern or are we going to the temple? We're all together. You'd have to, catch up. You'd have to catch up with me. If, yeah, it's separated uh, right now. We split again. I got something important. Because I left, I left earlier. Depends I'll if you want to. Yeah. Sorry. Seven. Uh, no, no, go. Then. Fabio? Uh, if Adelor had made it clear, like, that he wanted Fabio to fuck off, I would just double back. I don't think like he would have said anything. I think he's just kind of moping. Great, then she will around. stick around. She will literally <laughs> follow you all the way there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sko, are you going temple or tavern? Uh, tavern, I guess. Okay. So, just beginning before they arrive, then. Fear. You just step through. Dragon is taking a step to the side. And stands guard, kind of see him pull out a stall and he sits down kind of waiting looking at the curtain Cadvin's eyes kind of glance up towards you as you step on in <laughs> Fear Vino looks up Hi I'm oh, good I wasn't very cryptic but didn't know if you'd be able to work it out entirely Please yeah. have a seat Hey Um I did everybody kind of went their separate ways but I told them to come here so hopefully they'll be here soon. Okay. That, that's fine okay. with us. Of course. Um, uh, we, okay. we went home and we ordered some extra drinks and whatnot. Um, uh, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, um, we're okay. We... And I'm going to just look around. How do you... Oh, don't worry. Uh, there's, a, there's a zone of silence in here. Okay. Or a barrier. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, well, yeah, no, we are good. We killed a Drek. Mm. No, I know. Who Nithrax? Said? Did you know? Did you, did you know? Did you know him? Um, I knew of Nithrax. A terrible sword. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we did that. Um, before that, uh, Yule? And, uh... Kill you? No, no, no! I, oh. I wish. Sorry, no, not yet. Not yet. We're, we're, we, we will. Just not yet. Uh, Yule and um, and the and Jalvori, they, there was this uh, this spell, uh, like a parlay kind of thing, and they were like, "Oh, Magnathor sent us. He wants you to join us because he did such. You were mad that you killed Yuroth, and maybe you could take his place. We told them no, but I was trying to figure out what they wanted, but she sucks. She's real cryptic, and she sucks. We just left, because, of course, we're not going to. What can we do? Are you okay? Um, I'm, I mean, I'm okay. I just, I, <sighs> we're trying to find somewhere safe to go to. Yeah. Um. And Vindar and and and, and Komodo and Dragon—they're they're keeping us safe. So, I. Mm. One time I tried to use Tactical on Mythos and it worked. I didn't really think it would, and it did. And so then I was like, "Hey, <laughs> we're trying to kill Magnus Thor. Do you want our help?" And he said no, and not to contact him again. Um, but it was pretty weird that that worked, though, right? Because I thought that would only work if I knew. Oh, it would only work if you if you'd met him. Yes. Um, sounds like him. 
I always thought he could do it alone. So then I called again. Um, and he said, well, wait, do you, okay. We went to Wolfgard and, uh, we talked to Abatha. And, um, like well, we killed, yeah, we, we killed Yoroth and we talked to Abatha and her daughter. Well, one of them we killed. <laughs> anyway, um, the last time I talked to Onmythus, he said that Magnathor had his armor and we should just focus on the lieutenants. But like, so what does that mean? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like we could help if we knew more. That means that. It means that he can't be killed by mortal means. Okay. If Magnathor... Previously, Onmythus couldn't kill Magnathor. He couldn't work out how. So he petrified him. It's simple, really. And genius. His armor, it, it is it's unlike any other. We don't know the material it's made of. Well, at least I don't, or Onmythus is not telling me. He's impervious to anything. But he was petrified last time. He won't fall for that mistake twice. I mean, there has to be another way to beat him. There must be. But <laughs> the, that's the thing. <laughs> Our Mythis won't share that with me, but he's got theories. Um, he just wants me to be safe. He... he I mean, this has always we... been like this. Oni has... He's always believed he can handle it all alone. Maybe he can. He didn't do it alone before. And I saw you in a, in a... I had this, like, weird vision. Um, well, the last time that I talked to On I guess. No, it was before. Yeah. Um... And like, I don't know, I just, I saw all this stuff happening from like the war. And then I saw, um, Rathamat mm. and like, had like a, a baby with him and on Mythos wouldn't let anyone kill them. I think that's, that, that's when this changed and she's. I'll show it. him the tattoo. I feel it wasn't. Yes. You see his nail grow and he pricks it slightly and just gets your blood. It gets like a cloth. Eh. You have the blood of Rathamat in you. Yeah, is that bad? Am I gonna, like, become evil? <laughs> I mean, I, I thought he was a, um. Why my language, but a nasty bastard. Um. Don't become him. No, this is not how that works. You just put his blood in you. Um, you won't become evil necessarily. You make your own choices. But yeah, it, it does make you rather suspiciously a contender for oh greed. If you've noticed any tendencies for that? Dragons. <laughs> well, I mean, I like. I don't. I wouldn't say I'm like. I just, I, well, I appreciate arrogant. a good deal. I don't want anyone to, like, take advantage, like. You find yourself arrogant in your own emotions? A little bit mm. better than others? I have to let everyone know. I mean, I do think that people generally are pretty stupid. Like and temper? I do feel smart. Well, see, the thing is, uh, when, when a soul is created, it is a magical infusion between the parents. A spell as old as time itself. When a dragon soul is created, it is really the same. The dragons don't need to procreate per se. If you have 
a dragon's bloodline in you. It's magic that is infused with the very nature of greed and arrogance and, and, and uh, fury. Um, the same way that one who's got green dragon blood in them might be infused with slight more concepts of deception and trickery and, and, and cunning. This is just nature of, of dragons in a sense, what humans might find. Emotions we find, personality traits are very much embedded into our souls. It doesn't make you innately evil. It's just that the tendency to have power and greed in, in tandem is, often leads to quite a dark path or a path of dominance. Doesn't necessarily mean to have to happen to you. Oh, well, you did see that. You saw us flying over from Winterfair That's so very long ago. That's when we first really I wanted to establish that. ourselves. Oh, the missus wouldn't. I mean, Oni, he, he doesn't really share much, so you saw that moment. It's a very secretive moment. I would not want you sharing that. Rathamat's bloodline Shit. should have been killed. And I. Uh, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't question his decision. But he cares very much about the chromatic dragons. He is one. Oh. A rarer type, but he is one. An offshoot. Purple dragons are much rarer, oh. but they exist. If you... But if you were working with him before... Why won't he just tell... Because he's secretive, because he doesn't want to tell you what's happening. He... How can we convince him to not do by himself? Like convincing a cloud not to rain. Um, he... But you said he had help last, last time, right? So, like... It's true. It was force upon him, really. He was defeated by Magnethor. Nearly killed, actually. Well, he was killed. But resurrected. And that convinced him enough. It res Okay. The, the thing is... The truth of the matter is, if you have to push yourself to do this, you have to go behind his back. You won't be able to rely on him. If you want to deal with Magnathor, you find a way to deal with Magnathor. The very same way I said that in your very essence, you'll find your arrogance and your greed. In Omythesis, you'll find his pride and his confidence. In most ways, the purple dragon flight have always been the jovial storytellers of our group. They like, very much like a bard might sing about a tale of a hero. They like to be that hero, and they like to sing their own tale. In Omythis' defense, he has studied Magnathor. He's fought him before. He knows best. And quite frankly, you are just mortals. Before, when he had no. hope, with the help of a hag mother, myself before I was wounded, as others. Greater beings. What you have achieved is marvelous. Uruth was a powerful being. Yeah, this. Vinar kind of puts a hand on his hand. Silverk is a powerful being. If you had my advice, I would say, ignore what Omythis tells you, unless he really welcomes you in. Find a way to take out any of these helpers. And find a way to deal with Magnathor yourself. Or find a way to convince Omythis that you are inexplicably exactly what he needs. And another word of advice, okay. if you do go after Yule. We're definitely... She sucks so bad. I'm missing so not want her killed. Duh. Okay. Yule, Yule was his... Like a daughter to him. Ah, fuck. 
there are dragons across the world, beyond this continent, thriving somewhere where no mortal will ever get to go and see. But they are rare. A blue dragon as magnificent as you, terrible view. There's still a dragon dead. There's still one less great dragon in the world. Our myth is you, um, struggles with that. Did you did you know her? That at all? Well, we were quite close. I saw her as kind of a a niece, almost. Um, in the early days, Yule was a young dragon, and non Mythis managed to convince her to join him. Showing that what they were doing was wrong. Back when he helped Magnathor. And then, as the years went by, the very nature of them, of Yule, had her clashing with on Oni. The two of them fought over it, and I don't know what changed in her heart. She hates him. She hates him. Do you think him. there's any way to change her back? As I said, just because your soul and your very nature tells you you must be a certain way doesn't mean you have to act upon it in a certain way. I think anything, anyone can be redeemed. Just have to find something that might convince them to be redeemed. I can't tell you if she can. I can tell you she was less cruel once. If you do have to get rid of her, try not to gloat about it to our mythos. It's at this point that um, Scold um, and Basil would arrive. Did you tell them where to go in the tavern? Yeah. Yeah. I would have so said, like, ask for a red one. You guys would kind of see his dragon lets you go through the curtain and sits back down in his chair, leans on his axe, watching the curtain. Kevin kind of looks up to Scold and Basil. <laughs> Come on, in. <laughs> Good. Oh. Okay. I'll come so. So. Is there room for Skull to sit? Yeah, you can see they've specifically actually laid out like a larger chair for you and everything. Okay, he'll he'll Aww. place himself. Where's everybody else? Uh, um, getting checked out. Yeah, I think Adelward is. Uh. Ho hopefully, gonna get Is some okay? help. Did he go to the temple? Um, I guess. Oh, Would you okay. communicate that, Adelwood? Uh, probably well, not no. to you guys. No. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, yeah, he's gone through some stuff. Yeah, I think uh, I upset him a little bit accidentally, or why? at least what? made him feel worse. It's this whole thing. Um, we can get into it later. This is probably more important, right? Um, Cadvan, <laughs> you know, should we call you Cadvan? Should we call... Oh, um, it, uh, it isn't a name I've taken on. I, I, um, not to be too poetic. He kind of reaches across and you see him kind of carve the word Manevik, um, like magically into the air. And then he rearranges the letters to say, I'm Cadvan. Oh. I thought it was God damn rather it. neat. It's really good. That it's makes it really feel like good. it's in front of us the whole time. That's sort of annoying. It's the best secret song. I mean, it's not, like... Um, remember our friend Adelward? The little lightning spear the, boy. Yeah. He's having... When we were fighting... There's a lot of other stuff we have to talk about, but when we were fighting uh, Nithrax, there was this, like, crystal in the cave it broke 
there was like a piece of it on what he it? ate it a green crystal. and now he seems really icy like really icy like he tried to drink hot soup and it just turned into ice show me show me what it looked like i'll minor illusion what it looked like takes out his glass and puts it on the end of his nose <laughs> that's the everfrost okay he can so he's gonna him be to okay um he, he can it is a dragon device I would be able to study him a little better. I mean, is that infirmary going to help him? <laughs> of course not. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course not. They don't know anything uh, about dragons. Hey, I don't want. Telepath telepathy. Wow, 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 wow. That's worn off. Yeah, worn off. <laughs> yeah, it's been hours. It's only last one hour. Scott has no He's idea. talking to himself. <laughs> yeah. He's, there. <laughs> He's not responding. <laughs> the connection's bad. <laughs> one moment. Yeah, he is. He's um, upset like this. He casts sending. Oh, Add a ward. Uh, <laughs> this is cool, Pete. <laughs> I've been here. You should order a red wine from the Foot Locker. <laughs> okay. It might help warm you up. And it cuts off. Smart. Did you hear that? that? <laughs> the most suspicious guy on the planet, though. <laughs> um, I haven't heard most things that have been going on with you this walk. That weirdo from the store, the magic one with the bad doors, just <laughs> mocked me for not being able to drink wine anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, that seems totally on brand. I bet that's exactly what he meant. Adelward keeps walking. Still. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it Timmy with us? No, not yet. I made my way after. I, I'm not even. I don't even know you guys are going this way. I'm going for his own reasons. He's got an incredibly cryptic, weird message from a guy who has done nothing but yeah. make it seem like he hates him because of the yeah. door. And he thing. has to be cryptic because he's <laughs> staying low. So yeah. Yeah. He thinks that that it does sound like an insult. <laughs> oh, he didn't respond. I'm sure he's about. Uh -uh. Be here for a little bit. G okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. So, scold, uh, Basil. Uh, I had a little chat uh, before you guys got here. Um. So. Okay. It sounds like on myth this is going to be pretty sad if we kill Yule, but also. I don't know. She seems kind of shitty. We might have to kill her. So if we do, we shouldn't gloat about it. Um, this is, is he was like a she was like kind of like a do, like a a daughter. Looks like Cadman to to him sort it's, of. It's like, complicated. Trans relationships aren't really um, maternal paternal. Um, uh, but they're like family. When Yule was created, um, they were abandoned by their. Um, a parental figure. Well, Mythis helped guide you. It was like a mentor, but also somewhat like a father. Th um. The different metallic dragons and chromatic dragons, even gem dragons, they feel a kinship to one another. Even if they fight, there is a kinship there. The death of a dragon is a tragedy, no matter where it happens and how it happens. What happened? Why? I mean, clearly they're not on good terms anymore. I don't think Oni has any hatred there. I think it mostly comes from you. He's really mad, kind of about everything. He... Um, he... <clears throat> he killed her, her father, essentially. Her creator. Oh. oh, but if, but if he abandoned her, it doesn't really work that way. You, I almost killed my dad. It's not like him. It's not like you mortals. It's different. He abandoned her for his own reasons, but partially because it's safer to be alone when you're a dragon. It's better to be alone. 
a lot of the time. You draw less attention, you get more for your... You abandon her for her own good, I suppose. Or at least she sees you that way. And Mythis killed him because he... He stood alongside Rathamat. Oh. When you found out, she saw it as a great slight. So to blame on Mythis for stealing her away, so refusing to believe that she was abandoned. Instead of believing that Magnathor was correct, she almost got him back just to spite Oni. Oh my. Um, on top of all of that, you was very intelligent. Very conniving. Whether she believes what Magnathor is saying is true or not, is a little consequence. She'll probably only stop when Oni's dead. And unfortunately, if that happens, I'm sure she'll regret it. But perhaps you are right. Perhaps she does deserve to die. She's done a lot of wrong. So One of the things we were talking about before you guys got here was that um, with his armor, he's Magnathor's unkillable by mortal means. And so last time, Onmethus petrified him, but he had help, and now he doesn't have help. So it sounds like he preferred... Kevin, do you know how we know him? Do you know how we would have met him? It's really driving me nuts. I could probably have a theory. But I can't say. Would you... Why can't you say? I can't give away his he identity. Wouldn't... He wouldn't want you to say. It's okay. I just... Okay. It does... Really drive me crazy. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, so... What are you... How can we help you be safe? And then... What are we going to do next? Also, where is everyone else? Because we can't decide what we're going to do next without everybody else. But what can we do to help you? Are you safe in your sh in your shop? We'll gather your friends. We'll come up with a plan. I want to know what you're doing next. I want to know what your plans are against this threat. I want to know how I can help. I wish I could... Vindar kind of takes over and says, My husband was hurt gravely. I want to know how you can help kill Silverak. Hurt him into a thousand fucking pieces. We and toss him across every single plane you've seen. We saw them at the, in the, when we were fighting Nithrax. She's a nasty well, beast. Well, mostly didn't see and then at the end did they ran she's a devil with dragon blood coursing through her cruelty coursing through her she's a worm hunter way back when Magnathor convinced her to be spared he used her against Rathamat and his ilk. She's extremely trained at tracking down dragons, killing them, trapping them, but also a formidable assassin. Also playful in the most cruel ways. She could kill you easily by slipping up behind you and cutting your throat, but she doesn't enjoy that. She enjoys torment. She will torture She's you like at every invisible. step. If she was invisible and you're not dead, she wanted she to She kept attacking, you. but... I don't know. She was like... Right? She was like invisible the whole time. Skull could figure out where she was at the end. She's a powerful conjurer. Just innate Everything magic. Everything smells. It's true. Everything has a scent. 
She's devil by nature. You might be able to use that against her. Do you know why Silvaric and Jalvori were sent to Fjordhelm? Was it to look for you? Or is it to look for something else? We know Yurath went to find Abatha. Um, Jalvori would have been sent after the armor. I don't know about Silvaric. I have the armor. Jalvori is also a devil. He's a Rakshasa. They are tricksters. They're smart. But they're also deal makers. The fact he's working with Magnathor means that he's got quite a deal laid out for him. Hey, uh, you know how I said they had this spell and it was like a parlay? They wanted to strike a deal and he was ready to write a contract. They didn't really, they were just like, oh, you can take your off's place. And then when Magnathor wins, everything is going to be great. But they wouldn't really nail down what that meant. Be cautious of the contract. Hoping. If you see any contracts, you come through me. Yeah, then looks in his. Vindar is. I suppose it's not a big deal to say anymore. He was the devil. Um, we met when I was in the Nine Hell. He was. His his entire purpose is, well, not purpose, but his profession there was. Uh, he oversaw contracts and and how to break them. He was so taunt other devils by breaking their contracts and finding loopholes. Um, when I was. Hey. <laughs> Have you? Oh, Jeremy. Did you ever... Jindar, do you know anyone named Zalfel? <coughs> Sits back and smiles. I could name you pretty much every devil there's ever been. I specialized uh, in making sure I knew exactly how every devil worked, as much as I could. Of course I know what's Zalfel. What's Zalfel? You should have him talk with Timothy. Yeah, we met Zalfel in Advent, and then he wanted us to, like, I don't know, there was this whole thing, he was going to make a deal with all of us, and then he said that he could figure out where Timmy's mom was, and then he asked us to hold this thing, it's been a, a lot. Details aside, Timmy yeah. made a deal for his life. Maybe you can look into that for us. <laughs> When he, when we see him, I'll speak to him about the deal. Kevin smiles. When Vindar and I first met, we were, I was in the Nine Hells, and Silvara had given me over to a nasty devil, and his torturer was trying to extract information from me. I was at my wit's end, broken, really. Torturer thought he could get one over his master. Most devils are always trying to climb the ladder. So he thought, what a stronger way to do that than have a pet dragon? He made me have a sign a contract, which was... What is it again? Mandavek would give his soul to the devil named Vindar and serve him forevermore until he was released. But the, the interesting thing that Vindar worked out was that even though I signed this contract, is that he didn't use the name, he didn't use the term true name Vinda. True names of, every devil has a true name, and uh, with it comes power. Power over them, power that they can excel in. And uh, because he forgot to use that, well, my husband, well, the husband to be at the time, well, we hadn't met yet. I had my imps call me Vinda. He became Vindar. And I. Became more well known as Vindar than this one because this one had not revealed his true name previously. So therefore, I bound the soul to myself, and I, I didn't know if I, I didn't want to be bound to another devil. But it seemed better uh, the only way I could get back at the torturer. And so when we left, first thing my, first thing Vindar did was gave my soul back to me. The dragon's soul, you can become an exceptionally strong devil. Consume that and you get a great advantage over everyone, but he didn't. He seemed to kind of take each other's hands. Oh. If you feel Timothy has made a contract, he's the best at breaking them. 
Okay, God. Um. What were they? I mean, I don't know. What were they? What information did they want? Like, is it something that matters for what we're doing now? The metallic dragons were the ones who closed off Volcari. They're the ones who performed the magical spells that enclosed it so no living being, any being, could get inside. They thought I knew how to get in. They wanted to get to the Godforge. Not sure why. They were working at the time with Silveric and threw him to Magnathor, I'm sure. I didn't have this information. It's not akin to me. Not pretty. So, so somebody turned on the Godforge, right? Like, recently. A few but isn't years it, ago. Isn't it weird that, like, we don't know who... Does somebody know? Like, I mean, obviously the person who did it knows who it was, but, like, how do we not know who it is? If you just became a god, wouldn't you be like, what's up, I'm the new god? <laughs> Mostly because it's not entirely... It is theorized that it has more functions than just to become a god. What those theories oh. are, I'm not sure. But it's believed at least that there's more power to the god force than just ascending. Why did the giants follow Magnathor? Are they enthralled? More akin to it. Um... The fire giants came from Volcaria. They, that was their home before the breaking, before the wars. Yes, and they made the god forged. They were the creators, the crafters of it. They built it from the dragon scales of the Technicolor dragon. Vast years ago, the power embedded in it, the one that gave birth to the chromatic and the metallic, the scales was you to create this great forge, and Magnathor was the son of the general, or at least one of his long lost bloodline. He referred to himself as son. Belamos, who the mortals know to be the god of war, was once just a fire giant. He was given great power, he was used as a warrior on the front line. Considering the other giants against Yelithid in the east, against any who would oppose. Magnathor, Bedemos, when, when Zerus became a god, Bedemos declared himself, most of the gods decided to give away their, their, their bodily forms. They, they became more, they became godly. Bedemos was the last to decide to do this. Bedemos decided to stay back as the god of war, also the leader of all fire giants. Want to be the leader of all giants. That is why he had children. That is why there are descendants of the god of war. He claimed himself ruler of all of the fire giants of all of Arcalia. In many ways, Magnathor is the descendant of that. He is the leader of them. So they follow their king. They follow their king. It... It's not as simple as duty, though. It does, there is a, somewhat a charm to it, a power. Can it a be calling. broken? Oh, magic can be broken. Okay. The giants, the fire giants, would have been going to Volcaria because their king compels it. Which is where we must go. Is where you must go. When, when we were in Magnathor's tomb at the end, and they portaled, they all portaled away. Um, we could figure out, you know, yes, that Yorath was going to Wolfguard. We could see that Jolvari and Silvarak are going to Fjordhelm, and a minor illusion. This is. 
what we saw through the portal that Yule and Magnathor and fuck, who was the other one <laughs> went through? Uven. Um, thank you. <laughs> and Uven went through. But it, we That's didn't, nobody reckoned. So is, they could have just gone anywhere. There's a sea of tunnels. Um, mostly used when you go into a different plane. One that's not from here. So it's more likely that they visited a different plane. If they went through there. Okay, so... We need to... Find Silvaric. Kill her. Find Jalvori. Kill him. Find a way into Volcaria. And stop Magnathor and Yule and Uven. He wishes to become like his ancestor was. Frozen in a lake. <laughs> Not quite that. Because we could maybe do that. <laughs> Potentially. Though he's I'm sorry. Animals I was is long. His body is glib. long dead. He wishes to become as powerful as a god that walks the land. If Bellamos's body is trapped in that um, ice, yes. where's Bellamos? Our friend had a like conversation with him. Bellamos is ascended. Uh, through and through, Bellamos was a god. He's a god. He's still very much a being. Just that no longer has a bound mortal form. I say mortals, and it's a stretch, really, to say mortal. That Avatar would be one of the most powerful beings you could manifest yourself in. But it was he was defeated long ago. Long, long ago. Before the history of this land. Before the dragons ever came here. I think... At one point when we were talking to Abatha, she said something about someone trying to find the way to Volcaria by going to research in the Vahazi. Does that ring any bells? Well, the most likely reason being is that the Illithid, back oh. before they were... disgusting, <laughs> were once the greatest scholars of the land. They used to share their, their intrigue with the stone giants and the cloud giants. Uh, much of what the Cloud Giants learned was from what the Illithid discovered. Their discovery over the arcane magics was phenomenal, beyond any other race had ever achieved. When their land was consumed, when Belamos attacked them during their war, the land of the Vahazi, the reason it's so peculiarly located, and unlike a desert, surrounded by water, is not because of a natural means. It was once a thriving jungle, a beautiful landscape, full of great hills and greenery. But Valkaria, sorry, uh, Vahazi, named after the greatest, greatest of their kind. She was an incredible mage. She consumed all living matter. Anything green, anything that she could give life to, converge into a great magical bolt that would wound Belamos, and eventually be his undoing, oh. giving birth to the Vahazi Desert. <sighs> and because of that, their buildings tumbled underground, collapsing, the entirety of their civilization falling to rubble. Deep beneath the Vahazis, Countless knowledge, some of it forbidden, some of it never to be seen. It was deep within there that the Illithid descended and lost all of that history. If they are searching there for a way into Volcari, it's because the Illithid probably could work it out. Or their greatest scholars might have. But Volcari was never shut off until after they fell. So, the information probably is not there how to get in. 
but more about how the magic was created to stop people getting in there. If it's there at all. The yeah. reality is that it's a reach. And it's a good thing. We sailed... We sailed past Vulcaria on our way to Wolfguard, and, um... I really kind of wanted to stop there. So we saw all these, like, people on the, on the, you know, coast, and they all looked like they were having a great time. It was very weird. Anyway, then a dragon flew over our ship and she landed. She was actually pretty nice, but was like, definitely, you are, you cannot, you're, you cannot come in. And if you try, I will murder you. That makes um, sense. Like, should we just... <laughs> if there's dragons they're keeping track of everything to make sure that everything's okay should we just tell them like hey no, no, they will kill you um it... but like do, do metallic... we not let them no no, know no not at all metallic dragons trying born... to get in no, no 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 metallic dragons are not innately good in that sense they are good in terms of justice if they believe someone's trying to get in and you're trying to get in with them they would just destroy you both because it's the same yeah no i mean can we just send them a message and be like, hey, watch out, and then they could take care of it. I would not advise Except it. for he's unkillable, so we can't. I would not advise informing okay. them. I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> Only the fire giants could go there. And their lairs of are places of secret, right? Protected by me, us, my people. Right. Even we don't go inside. Krognar, my former lord. Perhaps we could unseal his door and we would learn oh. something within. That might work. The fire giants can make it into Volcati. If there is a way in, maybe... Maybe he knew. There is a record. What? I guess it would be hidden or destroyed. I was going to say, like, there's a whole library district here, right? Like, what if there was oh, no, no. some information that survived? It's not a really, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's built into a library. It's, it's where the nobles live. The library is oh. just the bookshelves that they live on. I got excited because that oh. was like a library. That's disappointing. See, we protect the fire giants, but we also preserve their secrets. But we do not pry. If I they are now... I want to know. <sighs> Dragon, my plans. Again? It's not the... I just... Want... I must go to Kongstar. And I must tell my people to change their entire ways. For the giants they pine for are now their enemy. So that is what we will do next. And then I will visit the lair of Krognar and see what we can glean. Good idea. And hopefully then if you ever do make it into Valkyria, you can put an end to all this. All this nonsense. Please. Do what on Mythos and I could not. It asks a lot of mortals to be better than dragons. You've already achieved so much. And allow me a hint of fear. End of greed. Please give us a little more. I fear that if you don't, no one will. Their wreath very much relies on seven unlikely friends. Scott will turn to the group. It's important we tell out a one about everything. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't don't. really fully understand our journey, and maybe he doesn't want to take part in it. So, so we should be sure. And maybe yeah. he'll give him purpose, and he'll stop moping. He's really <laughs> depressed right now. 
He's like. I would so be depressed powerful. if I was ice. Too. Because it's cold. Anyway, we should find him. He's not answering my telepathic messages. <laughs> He's cold shouldering you. Well, I do think that. Bree. <laughs> <laughs> that pissed me off. Shame on you. Shame. On you. I just got it. <laughs> it would. I do think it would be good if Timmy could tell Vindar his, what exactly I'll, he I'll signed. Be here. Send him to me when he needs. I mean, uh, all due respect, you and he are not on the best of terms. Perhaps you could give us some information to ease his mind about his affliction. Did I upset him? Oh, Adelward? Uh, Ad oh. In in oh, yeah. you mean Adel... Oh, oh. Uh, oh, um... Um... Perhaps... You'll take some... If he's consumed a shard of Everfrost, the purpose of Everfrost is to make everything into a winter. This is an old, an old, very old mountain where you could mine it. Far, far away, though. If he's consumed it and it's turned him into winter. How does he control it? Will he melt? Can't be sure, but he might. There's a chance it might be too much for his body to handle at points. But he could come to terms with it. Otherwise, there are those who grant wishes in the world, and I'm sure one of those could remove the most. Powerful of curses. It's not much to go for. But we've so sorted for much less. Like, so far, he's just kind of real icy, and when he... Like I said, he tried to drink some soup and it turned to ice. Like, is there worse things that will happen to him that we just haven't seen yet? It is likely... That if he is not of mind and struck down, there is an insy chance. I oh, should <clears throat> say no more, dragon. <laughs> no, I want to know what no. was that. No. Why? He should know, though. No, he shouldn't. But it. There is a chance he might shatter. <sighs> okay. okay. But if he's... Wait. Whoa. Okay. So let's... Okay. That's terrible. But what if it happens? Um, I have uh, ripped my jacket and Fabia, like, <laughs> made it seamless again. So couldn't... If he shatters... <sighs> we just cast back end in. enough times. <laughs> yeah. Psychos, dude. <laughs> I'm afraid. Enough of this talk. If if this is the only issue, then it's fine because he won't fall anyway, right? You look at the group. Yeah, we're not gonna let that happen. Well then, there's no I issue. Just want to be prepared. What if? Okay. Sorry to be the better of bad news. Um, as a precaution, try not to consume draconic products. In the future, or maybe don't leave him lying around. Yeah, do you know what? I we did kind of tell him maybe never again eat something you find on the ground. That's good advice, a... always, really. That's Even if you're not made of waste. Oh, that's just uh, no, that's waste. Maybe he was never taught that. Like, I don't know, you know. Well, school just said it was wasteful, so maybe this is like a cultural oh. thing in Fjordholm. You just are you telling me that if you dropped uh, some wonderfully if cooked I meat have on the ground, it. you would not no. eat the meat? Okay, yeah, like if I have it and I drop it, 
Yeah, but if I just came across yeah, random land. meat, I wouldn't pick Dude, it up and eat it. Fucking flashbacks to everyone delicious. in the group going, you should eat it. Eat it right now, <laughs> just fucking do it. <laughs> and all just staring at the crystal. Everyone character. in the group was like, yeah, fucking do it. That's true. That was out of character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd do it again. Oh, so you definitely eat the shit on the ground. In character. Well, I, mean, I would go. probably eat that again, too. Yes, uh, in Scold's analogy, um, you may eat meat you drop, just don't eat exactly. meat you find out in um, an yeah. ancient lair. Uh, I still disagree yeah. with that. No, like the wine <laughs> that the scouts drank, and then they all turned it in your off, and then we had to kill them all. Look, dragon, you eat stuff you find on the ground. his affliction channeled properly is a gift, yes? Absolutely. Then we must make him see it that way. That is it. Perspective. I like it. He is. And uh, By we will to... send Timothy to you. Very good. Um, I, I can do that. Who yeah, and now they know that you're a devil, perhaps your enchantments will get better. Oh, that was Because you have been holding out on me, quite frankly. <laughs> Enchantment magic. <laughs> I thought the beard one was Have you ever funny? met anyone who's made magical items? It takes them months. No. Actually, yes. No, my lord did many times. It was a matter of days for him. Mm. I could put curses on things, if you'd prefer. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Used to flex it around a little bit. My meander think... of enchantments is fine. I think we should go. <laughs> but um, if there's any consolation to your friend, within days, it'll probably be an elemental. That's great. What? <laughs> Is that great, Cadvin? I mean, it pays to be unique. Some say. Some pay a lot of money for that. Um, You're not a circus. <laughs> true. But you could be. <laughs> <laughs> I was never good with Cad advice. Uh, right? um, Cadvin? We do have a clown car. No! <laughs> Do you think? No, we don't. We don't. No she got Not it. anymore, bitch. Do you... <laughs> you think? Does Admetus have a way to check up and know what we're doing? Like I, I mean, should I it's... keep telling him? He'd be able to watch if you allow it, I suppose. But uh, he's not the—he's not really the nosy type. A bit too self-centered. If we're trying to make him realize that he needs help, should I just, should I keep trying? Uh, you can give him updates, I suppose. Keep trying, you might piss him off. That might be bad. Sorry about the language. Who is he apologizing to? I'm He's sorry. looking towards uh, Vinda and all of the kobolds. Oh, <laughs> Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay. <sighs> No hard feelings about Nithrax, right? Oh, uh... Metallic dragons don't really like chromatic. Um, Nithrax was, uh, quite mean. Um, doesn't come from this land, but from what I heard, he was a terror up in northern winter's land. Um, so... Good job, I suppose. Uh, it's sad. It's sad when a dragon dies. But... Sometimes. This is going to sound rather mean, but white dragons I don't like. So territorial. So beastly. That's fair. No, yeah. No, that's which sweet. ones do you like? They don't. He doesn't seem very nice. He is a jerk. But yeah. I've gotten along you with see, You seem suppose. rather tolerable com by comparison. Oh, uh, the personality traits of metallic dragons are probably a bit more desirable. Just don't miss silver. They're a little bit, um, you know, <laughs> how, how do you mortal said? Up, uh, up your butt? Like up their own ass, up right? Up their own ass. Yes. Yeah. That's a silver dragon yeah. for you. Huh. Well, it's good to know. Us brass, we just... Uh... Also, um, tell your friend uh, Timothy that um, if he needs any more instalments of brass scales, I've got him sorted. Is that... Oh, you sly fox. <laughs> You sly brass dragon. Hey, where did the platinum Stop. one come from? <laughs> platinum one? Oh, it's an yeah. old friend. I mean, it's the oh. last portion of it. Oh, it's 
thank you. It was it's really useful. Sometimes we shed skin. That weird. I'm gonna look down at my <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You'll be a bit of an anomaly. You know? Not often that you should take great pride in that. Dragons are desirable beings. To procreate is a little bit um no offense to you mortals, but disgusting. So the brief result of it means I really must have desired whoever your ancestor was. Okay. Congratulations. That's thanks. <laughs> Think it grow scales like everywhere. I don't know. But uh good, good I look talk. A dragonborn are rather rather normal looking, right? Might just become one of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay. It's uh, it's gonna be okay. Everything. Uh, should we go catch up with? We the should. Others? We gotta find yeah. somewhere to stay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let's get the the others, and then we'll find oh, somewhere stay to stay. The place. Then... Lovely place. Why You're... does that? That's a terrible name. Why does everyone keep recommending it? Oh, it's a nice little heaven, actually. We only came up to the Footlocker. It's a little bit quieter, and um, we can kind of get our own booth. But that place looked quite oh. jovial. All right, bloody piss it is. Cool. All right. Well, we'll okay. be here. Okay. For a little awesome. while, at least. All really right. quick, before we all head off, Basil will just, like, <laughs> under his breath, be like, listen, uh, when all of this is over, I would love to write a song about you two. I just think it's so sweet. Stop. And I was like, and will yeah. not be necessarily. He kind of looks down. <laughs> doesn't really like the theatrics, but... I would love to tell you. I'll give anything you want. Details of all sorts. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. You see kind of dragon stands up at the back. <clears throat> dragon for you, Adderworld, as you weren't here when, when you, they were first introduced. Como, uh, Doe, and Dragon are essentially these four kobolds. Um, one silver, uh, one copper, one brass. Um, they're the smaller ones, but the, the gold one... Um, is broader, kind of closer to almost mm -hmm. the size of Timothy. He is like essentially the rock in kobold form, you know, compared to them. He's like huge, <laughs> muscular for, for his sure. size, um, and kind of with a big axe. He steps to the side and just goes, and then nods to the exit, almost like a bouncer. Okay. Oh. Let me know however I can help. I might not be able to fight as well as I did. But... Silvara. Okay harmed me. I have scars fighting that creature that have lasted for hundreds of years. I'm not prone to cruelty. But however you kill that one, show no mercy. Skald gives him a wicked grin and then leaves. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm, I'll have a sale once I get back open again. <laughs> you better. Get discount, friends. Discount. A Don't forget, we still maybe. have a store credit. We still have a. I still have. A, we um, still sure, have a store credit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then the curtain goes. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile at the hospital. Um, <laughs> the hospital. I can't Fabio, wait for this. Timothy, oh, and Adderward, you've entered up in towards the temple. You'd see this very section. You can hear the coughing. It's a temple that's been converted into like a kind of a medical. Um, a station almost. Um, various uh, somber priests go around, kind of dressed in almost like a uh, nurse like garb of like robes, popping into the various wards. Um, one of them, a, a, a bald um, dwarf uh, with like a, just a very kind of neat beard, steps up to you and says, Greetings. I, I believe it's Adderwald and Fabio who arrived there first, right? Mm. Greetings. How can I be of service? He's an ice cube. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um. Thoughts? Do you believe it's contagious? Mm. <laughs> Just touch him. <laughs> I don't embrace that. Um, but, uh, okay, not primary. How long did it take you to transform into this, um, predicament? Couple seconds. <laughs> Poof, ice. He ate a rock. He he ate a he ate a, oh, was it cold? He ate a cold oh, rock. It was kind of cold. The rock. Let's find yeah. your room, shall we? And he 
kind of wanders off into uh, as he's as now. he's wandering. Probably you got my back, right? If they try to if they try to like bro, eat me or like cut bro, me I up, got you. I, no like one's gonna melt you. No one's right. gonna chomp you. Because I will I will murder them. All right, I will I kill know. them if they come I know. After me. I would, bro. I would let you. All right, thanks. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in the side room, you've got kind of like a stone bed uh, with like a s soft kind of wall over it that's been wrapped over. If you'd have a seat on there, please. All right. He sits down. Okay. <clears throat> There's like a little scope device and kind of starts studying you. Let me see. I've never seen this before. Could you describe the rock to me? It's like sort of cold, glowy. Was it glowy? It was sort of glowy. Hmm. It was glowy. Sized. So this is a magical infliction of some kind, okay. All right. Uh, where did it happen? In a dragon's den. <laughs> on the coast. <laughs> oh, I was like, mm-hmm. Add mm -hmm, a roll of persuasion mm -hmm. check. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help by going, mm-hmm, yep, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you advantage. <laughs> I'll give you advantage. Cause it, oh, cause... God. Oh God! Oh my God! Let's give me a seven. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, better God. than a two? Yeah, yeah. Have you noticed any um, memory loss or, or confusion that comes with this? He looks to Fabio. Oh no! What? Uh, no, he's he seemed as delightful as always. Years inside of a crystal. After I ate it, I could see dragons. And <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> Me around. Mentally, per a little depressed, maybe because he's wild. cold. I couldn't, but... I couldn't move. I was like a statue. He's, he's... It was like boring as hell. Bro, you were making this so hard. Yeah, I knew those kobolds better than I knew you. He looks over. He looks over. Fabio. All right. Um. Really. Um. All right. Hmm. This is a peculiar one. Uh, we can do a prayer. If you rest here overnight, your ailment might be gone in the morning. With someone right. looking over you. Well, someone blesses adventurers and some creatures. It, she might uh, pour her grace over you and you might see it gone by the morning. Would Adelward know that Timothy is like a... Uh, he, he, he's you can see the symbol guy, right? of summer, yeah, yeah, around the center. Okay. You know, Timothy's connected. So you're gonna you good like pray and that's that's all you can do for me, kinda. You don't well, have any like uh, actual medical we have stuff. Here. Allow me to bring in one of my one of my cohorts. So he kind of steps outside and has a conversation. At ten minutes. I mean, they're, goes by. they're they're basically gonna do the same shit that Timmy did, right? Yeah, I think they might be hacks. I don't think yeah. I'm getting anything out of this. Not that Timmy's a hack. But like, I don't think yeah. Timmy's a hack, but no, I think it's Timmy's just the same thing. Beautiful. What a sweet boy. Yeah, he's a, okay. he's a sweet boy. Should we dip? I think I think Stepping we into dip. the room. <laughs> and along the road, you see an elf who stands with his greetings. Uh, the dwarf steps in beside. What a peculiar ailment. Allow me to restore you to your health. Steps up beside you. Speaks in Irish. Ash, send an R. Casts lesser restoration on you. Ah. One moment. Yeah. Can we speak outside? Where's that sort of door? You hear them talking right outside the, the door. Dip, bro, that, was like, that was like way worse than what Timothy tried. That was like <laughs> even weaker. Also, they looked they looked like beyond confused, you know? Yeah, and my back. I mean, he fixed up my back again. I've been having Ooh, back. Nice. Last you know, weeks, so I think I got some benefits out of it. The dwarf okay. steps back in. Okay, we, 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 just give us a moment. Um. We, we're yeah. just waiting on the others to come. Um, uh, other, other, like other, other clerics? Other clerics. Oh, uh, other what? Oh, he's come you see about it's six others hospital. come in. <laughs> yeah, you see others, younger ones come in, looking up, and then like an older <laughs> like, cleric comes in. He's wearing kind of stronger garb. <laughs> he's got like a shoulder pad that shows kind of his like uh, a, a devotion. <laughs> and he steps in a human, um, uh, elderly. Oh, note this down. You see them kind of plant their quills and they start noticing. <laughs> Is this? Mm. I told you this was gonna happen. Something like this. Greetings. Uh, you're Bro, under you're an good experiment, care. dude. <laughs> he steps up. Could you lift your arm for me, please? Yeah, sure. He he he's his arm. Interesting. He casts detect magic over you. 
curious. Well, I have no fear. I have removed countless diseases and ailments upon the most inflicted. Has everyone got a, an image of it? You see them kind of casting a spell that kind of implants an image and drawing of you and like almost like a diagram of just different shapes of you and they just keep drawing to each page. Okay, good. I won't harm you and I should remove it from you. Oh, shut up. That'll work. It's good. Look at it for Abby. He casts greater restoration over you. And as you can see, he is fixed. <clears throat> Okay, no, he cast it again I across you. It. And nothing but, happened. <laughs> Bobby will throw her hands up. She'll go, I knew it. I said they weren't going to be able to do anything about this. We are going this, home right now. It's just like, confusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, we're going home. Enough of this. This is so silly. <laughs> like, was, that, was that actually like for real? Was that the best you guys can do? Or is, like, you, is, I've never seen an element like this. As you're kind of being dragged out. We, we don't. Please allow us. If you stay, we might be able to fix this. You will not touch my husband one more time. What? Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> She'll just like shut him out. <laughs> Timothy, you've just walked oh into God. the temple, seeing them in the distance, chatting with yeah. all the clerics and whatnot. Oh my God. Timothy, we we fucked it up real bad. Timothy, we gotta. We should just what go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we messed it up. We just. Yeah, we you should, don't we know us though. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> they push past. You see the dwarf step up to you, Timothy. Get. <laughs> How can I be of service? Uh, hi, uh, this is a uh, temple for Somra, right? That is correct. I oh, was. Is, is, is. Uh, do, do you, do you have a, oh, is. Okay, that's even better. Uh, do you have sort of a waiting room uh, somewhere that could fit maybe seven people? One of them, a Krigven? Aye, of course. Is it sort of away from everyone? Because I also, I, I need to talk to people while I'm there. Okay, we can, we can do that. Okay, uh, just take me there. He takes you up to like a side room area, like it's a private kind of waiting room. I think I have a seat in here. There's a series of chairs. Okay. It's kind of a private room with like adjacent to it, like a, a kind of a, a seeing room. Mm. I'll uh, I'll message them, let them know you can be on your way. I guess. Okay. He slips outside. If you need anything, just let us know. I, I will. Thank you. Uh, as soon as he's gone, I'm going to. Cast word of recall in this area oh, for any future boy. scenarios so we can mm -hmm. head here. Okay. Brain. Okay. Yeah. So this is that that puts a little um uh kind of te teleport spot, right? Yeah, it sort of designates this place as our sanctuary. If I cast it again. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Alright. You just see it kind of it's kind of almost just familiarity if someone kind of comes in. Almost like a dreamy wisp kind of enters into the room and then seeps into it. And you feel like the sanctuary has been created. Okay. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to head out, maybe see the guy I was talking to and just say, uh, they're busy. I'll, I'll be back later. Have you got an ailment that you Thank might you. need seeing to you? Oh, no. I can, I can help myself. Thank you, though. Oh, okay. I'll sort of hold up my shield with a Somra symbol oh. on it. Lessons to you, brother. And to you. I'll be back, maybe. You'll see us. She'll see you soon. Smiles and continues. Yeah, I'm going to head back. Oh, I don't know where I'm going at this point, so I'm just going to go out and sort of uh, try to see if I can still catch Fabia and Adelward since I wasn't in there long. I imagine the crowd disperses around them as they're making <laughs> <Yeah. a scene. laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll just sort of tail them a bit and then as soon as the crowd dissipates more I'll reconvene okay. <clears throat> you would like come up behind us and you'd be like look all I know how to do is escalate I got you out of there like I said I was going to <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't really make me feel any better it, all. it just made me feel like kind of a freak at that oh, point I'm, okay know. look I'm sorry but I was worried that they were going to be like ah something to experiment on which seemed like the opposite yeah, of what they brought wanted. in like they brought in like 10 they brought in so many people yeah, and they were all doodling you yeah, and only a couple of them were were good not that it matters there are some unflattering angles yeah yeah <laughs> so i just look i felt like the the 
the only way that I was going to shock them enough to leave you alone was to make a big deal out of it. So I'm sorry if I made you uncomfy. No, I, I appreciate you coming with me. I probably would be cut up into little pieces uh, oh by God. now. Put the jars or something. Do they do anything? Do you feel any different? They His did, back's uh, better. Yeah, my back's better. I, I did that already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, ba it's better again, though. <laughs> he just reinjures it every day. <laughs> my shield is so heavy. So, uh, I don't know. What do you guys want to do now? Do you know where anybody is? Where did everybody go? Oh, no. And None of us know. I don't to put his fingers to his head and try to use his own telepathy to reach out. <laughs> Someone read me on this thing. That's been a while. They're I think. ignoring me. <laughs> no, dude. Hey, uh, hey, guys. I just, I just realized that the last, uh, thing I said was to meet here. If we leave here and go to the bloody piss, then oh. they'll come here, but they won't know where we are. So it begins. Should we wait outside here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably. Because we can't really leave a note with someone and be like, hey, if these people, that seems weird. We should probably just have a drink here and wait for them. Yeah. So where the hell do you guys want to go then? Like, <laughs> oh, you got any ideas? God. I like definitely restaurant. don't want to drink. <laughs> I don't want to. I honestly no. don't think I should be drinking. I'm it's not just thirsty. Gonna, yeah, and you can't drink. It'll just turn to ice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry, think, Timmy. Yeah, I need to eat. I need food. Okay. Well. well food badly. Where's Where's Somebody food? Cooked? Where's drinks? Where's food? I don't know. Look for smoke. Uh, use, use they didn't nose, say anything yeah. about where they were going. I don't really remember. There's a lot going on. <laughs> oh, I also talked to a wolf and then we sweet, left and... My sweet husband. <laughs> can't quite remember anything. Yeah, Basil said some... Basil really messed me up. Really was oh, a good day for me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we don't... Uh, Timmy, don't you have sending? I do, but like it uses... What if I need that? Oh my god! It's not sisters to the town? For what? <laughs> we've been in towns where we've blown stuff up and had to run accidentally. That was a time! <laughs> More I than feel that. like if we blew something up... I feel like if we blew something up, <laughs> we could, we could like, b like, vanish in this town easier, you know? Then, like, m when... No names. When somebody electrocuted a building and it exploded and like stuff like that, like th those towns were smaller. Well, and then there was another time where it turns out the town that was vampires. Like something I would have done back when this worked. <laughs> Oddly enough, it wasn't you. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. <clears throat> okay, I'll. Uh, I guess I'll. Excuse me. Send to. Uh, I'll send to Fia, because that's probably where everybody is, and just say. Oh, we're finished here. It's t Timmy. Where is everyone? <laughs> oh! I'm gonna point so they know that I got a message. We're at the Foot Locker Inn. We were gonna just come here. Just, just come we're here. There? Okay. You're not gonna. You said you were gonna go, but so you're not gonna go somewhere else. You cast and send me again. How many? Yeah, do you cast again? Yeah, I'm gonna keep <laughs> casting it to back and forth. No, we'll just oh stay. God. We'll just this stay here till you get here. Come to the Foot Locker Inn. It's in the dorms district. A ask them how the food is. Honestly, <laughs> like, I, will, uh, I don't want to go anywhere near is super there food there? Do they have anything like solid? Yeah, there's food, but we're waiting for you to order because that's polite. We're starving. Hurry up. Is it solid food? That's all. That's my last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to yes. sixth level. Yes, so, it's so, there's oh, solid fine. food. Actually, I don't oh, even no. know. Is there okay, food wait, here, there... Joe? Is there food at this oh, inn? Is a fifth level. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's food. <laughs> yes, it's solid. Please just get here. We're starving. Okay, let's go. All of us. Okay, let's go. Okay, cool. Oh, Do we know where the Foot Locker is? Uh. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio will she grab said. the person. Hey, where's, where's the Foot Locker? Oh, it's at the end of the, uh, the, the first bed. Nice. About 20 minutes Thanks. down the road there. Cool. <laughs> Oh my god, there's- oh shit! Guys, I have so much to tell you. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll wait? Okay. Oh, no, I'll wait. We have I'll 20 wait. minutes to walk, apparently. 20 so. Oh, I guess we're just walking. <laughs> so I, 
<laughs> We're just gonna walk in awkward silence, okay? Until we get there. I don't want to. I'm holding it in. I don't want to repeat all this shit twice, okay? <laughs> so funny. Okay, so you're heading to the footlocker. Yeah. Eventually, arriving on inside, uh, sat inside, scold, fear, Basil, you'd see the four, Timothy, Aaron, mm. Fabio, and Adderwald step through into the door of the footlocker. And reunited again, your full group. As you enter to have food for the night, discussions. So where are you going to go next? Now that you've got somewhat a plan, your next ventures to take down Magnathor and all of his lieutenants. And that is where we're going to end tonight's episode. Woo! Reunited. Well, it feels so good. Thanks for not leaving me here. That was a fun yeah. one. <laughs> uh, thanks everyone for playing. Yeah. As per usual. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, nice. You still got plenty of stuff to do. Great hunt. Going to Kongstall. <laughs> hunting down Magnifold. Getting into um, the lair and stuff. Yeah. Lot, killing this dragon killer bitch who's apparently yeah. in town. Yep. Probably fucking invisible right behind us right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's, okay. it's one of the I'm reasons that Bobby was like, I'm just not going to say anything yet. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll see where you go next week. Uh, thanks, everyone, for playing as per usual. Um, we'll be back next week for episode 76. But for now, let's do some shout outs. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, the most talkative member of our group, uh, Tomato. Nice. Hell yeah. Bro. Dude. Bro. Tomato on Twitch, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sam. Hey guys, Twitch TV slash stripping every day from 2 p.m. Eastern. The good shit. Nice. That's, That's good. where it is. See, God, Sam wrong. knows the rules of sending, whereas <laughs> Adaward is confused about how much words he's allowed to say. Dude, I actually <laughs> checked. I checked the rules of sending because I was going to interrupt all your lore stuff in that bar by having Adaward yell at your character for picking on him. Like, finally figured out. And I was like, fuck, I had to do it like instantly. I couldn't, just, I couldn't yeah. just have him yell at you. <laughs> yeah. if, you see, if you see RG lift her hand up, she's counting words. That's when you got to go in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Really stupid. Uh, it's true. Bray. Hello, I'm Brie Bun. Still playing through Dark Souls 2. It's long as fuck. It's long as fuck. They're getting closer. Almost about to start the DLCs right before the end of the game. So. Oh, nice. Brie, did you stream for like 2,000 hours yesterday? Every time I looked at yes, Twitch, I was I like, I'm for... Brie Bun streaming Dark Souls 2. I streamed for seven hours, everybody. It was Ooh, so girl. long. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Dodger. That's all. That's it. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. I drink coffee and then I play games. Um, and uh, shout out to uh, everybody on this show for dealing with Fabia. <clears throat> I appreciate you all very much. <laughs> You could have bought that Fabia. brothel. We have enough money that you could have purchased the whole thing. I know. That'd be a good business venture. <laughs> Yeah, I should. Good investment. People are gonna always going to go to brothels, right? I'm excited like, to see where the epilogue of the... Ca like, we'll do an episode right at the end of Godforge where we get to see the epilogue of everyone. And yes. if, if Fabia's brothel epilogue is the uh, is the secret legendary ending you get after the credits. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yes. Amazing. Shane. Mm. Hi, I'm Shane. Uh, sometime soon, I'm going to be streaming a fun Valheim mod pack that I'm making. Um, I tested it for the past two days and I didn't sleep. I played for 35 hours straight and I think it'll be great. What the hell How is do you wrong do that? You? Yeah, How dude. does someone just play for 35 hours straight so accidentally? It was so much fun. It was so much fun. So uh, we'll see breed, when that's up. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of control, man. I started on Friday and I didn't stop until sun this morning at 4 a.m. I don't want to hear shit. about the same more, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't, like, I are you looking depressed to congratulate you? Because I'm just too <laughs> excited. I feel no, bad. I, I feel ashamed. Aw. Don't feel ashamed. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, it's a big selling point for how good this mod must be. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's, to yeah. Like. it's true. Yeah. It'll be fun. Uh, OLG. <laughs> Hello, I'm OLG. Uh, usually I like to either anti shout out an NPC who is kind of shitty or shout out someone else. You know what? This week I'm going to shout out my own self because miracle of miracles. 
Last week, I said that I was inspired by Dodger's uh, mushroom on her knee to finally finish the fucking back of a sweater that I've been knitting for like two fucking years. And I finally did it. I'm Yay, so proud. I'm, <laughs> I'm really proud of myself. I do feel like full disclosure, everybody should know that I still have to do both fronts, both sleeves and the collar. But that was the biggest part. That was the most fucking boring. And Wait, I so did you've it. only so done the back? Shout out to me. Fuck you, dude. If you have a sweater, <laughs> just admit, like eight of them. And it takes a long ass fucking time. When you said you were going to finish the back, I assumed everything else was finished. Because it's like a long ass cardigan, dude. <laughs> okay, you okay. started the back. Look, it's huge. I and I did it. And I'm real proud. So eat a bee, Joe. You should be proud. <laughs> Uh, thank you everyone for playing uh, you can find me on this channel uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm playing this week but I know we read Dungeons and Dragons content on Tuesdays if you're impressed, interested in homebrew uh, come on by for that um, otherwise uh, you can find my patron um, by doing exclamation mark patron where you see all like the homebrew my weekly notes so if you're interested in what is improvised and what is kind of noted down as a okay I think I know what's going on there you'll see um so you get to see that kind of stuff. Like the kennels today was entirely made up. Um, and uh, then also we have a Godforge Discord, which will be kind of revamped soon as well, um, which you can do exclamation mark Godforge to find that Discord as well. So come on there if you want to talk spoilers about the episodes or post any artwork and whatnot. And otherwise, we will be back next week for episode 76 of Godforged. Thanks, everyone, for playing. And we'll see you all then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.